I just realized I didn't press the starting thing. Just um, just uh, starting. There we go. Starting for a little bit. Okay, welcome to Witcher 3. Um, As the Emperor's spy ah, yes, it's nicely quiet for this part, that's right. Overgrad. A lone attempt to find her in the Norse largest city would certainly fail. But Geralt had friends he could count on. The Witcher decided to contact Chris Miracle. Shut up. What? What did I do wrong? Uh, 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 uh. There we go. <laughs> now we nice and cozy. Wow. <sighs> good morning, Anakin. How are you? I hope you had a good night, evening, today. What part of my hair is that? Ah, yes, Triss, the superior fuck angel. I mean, love interest. Um, I mean, love, love, love. Um, what the f Oh, that's right, Triss. We're looking for Triss. I was gonna do side quests, but I might as well do this now. <sighs> My man's a sword swinger too, the King Radovid. Do you still? Oh, oh. More cautious than I thought. Can't get too close. Stop, thief. thief, where? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know how much distance I should leave between him and I. When you yawned, I felt that. Hello, good morning, Cheshire. How's it going, dude? Guess who's first, Shire? Not you, that's for sure. Shire. Sir, sir, be merciful. Good Give morning, Hanakin. Thank you. That's the type of enthusiasm I like to see. Here. And you, you gold Some other time. Help the poor fellow out. Oh god. Blech. Didn't claim it. Cheshire equals Shire. Oh. That's what you meant. Like, why are you calling somebody a Shire? Oh. Nothing happened. I didn't set fire to things. I'm not a pyromaniac. I think they believe me. Um. Shunda to Shire because it's, well, shorter. Cheshire. But Cheshire is easier to say than Shire. Cheshire. Uh, 
That's also because I'm lazy, but that's besides the point. I'm not too close to him, am I? I don't think so. Walking along a Novograd, we're looking for Triss. And that's kind of difficult, but it's chill because it's almost Christmas. <laughs> Can you hear the no, don't do that. You'll infect the city because people maybe drink that. I don't know. I wouldn't recommend. Shires of churches. What? Shires aren't churches. Shires are sh shires. Are you still in the process of waking up? It's literally a whole syllable shorter. No, yeah, but <sighs> I'm like I would rather say Cheshire than sh Shire. <laughs> shire. It's more Cheshire. Shire. Okay, it's a lot stronger. Uh, anyway. Open up. They're like counties there. Yeah, they're not churches. Who are you and what do you want? Take a look. What do you see? Yellow eyes. Heard this place was a meeting spot for oddities. Heard right. Now the password, get him free. Don't know it. Gotta to contribute to the Grobe's upkeep. Don't know the password. Pay up. Let me in. I won't pay. Let me in. Yes, sir. Silly Shire. Oh, Kenny Rogers, coward of the Shire. What? What are you? What are you guys talking about, anymore? I'm so confused. All right, let's go see Tris. Pretty, pretty Tris. It's about time we made something clear, sorceress. Yes, high time. Me and my men will manage just fine without the help of you or any other mages. But you, well, without our help. You're sitting ducks for the temple guard. Who do I spy? Geralt? Natris. See you She's two know. She's so each pretty. Other. See you two know each other well. Aww. I was curious whether you've managed to find me, Witcher. I just I I just I done that like, you know. <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking up something on my phone. Like I just, she's so pretty, and you know, like, like I just wish she was redhead in the season as well. I'm so funny. Yes, you are, Anakin. What a heckin' hoot and a half, I tell you. Okay, here we go. If I can figure out. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay. Let's see how far a walk this is. Uh, how do I look up directions? Sorry, I'm on- I'm going- I'm going- Fuck, where's the button? There should be a button here that says... Directions. But, oh, maybe if I click on it. Aha! Um... Oh, 
close. No, I don't want to see departure times. I just want to look at the map. Let me look at the map. Stop. Walking. Okay, it takes about an hour's walk. I could do that. Sorry, I have an idea for a Christmas present and I need to go get it. But it's going to be a long walk because my Mikey is out of date. This is, is, is uh, anyway. Um, hmm. okay, it might be a bit, yeah, it'll be about an hour's walk. That's okay though, could be worse. Um, hmm? I'll drop my bass guitar amp on your acoustic shit. <laughs> Wait, okay, so here's me explaining the joke. Oh, okay. You, you always gotta explain it for me, don't you? Let me explain it. Kenny Rogers, second greatest country singer of all time, has a song called Coward of the County. Shire equals county, therefore I dub the Coward of the Shire. Wow. Country music, ew. I agree, Cheshire. We'll call it a bass drop. Oh. You think that scares me, tough guy? I'll play your bass with a pick. Your spies tell you I was looking for the putrid grove? My skull would be a home for bottom feeding river fish if I didn't keep an ear to the ground. And please, Putrid Grove? Ugly name for our cozy little hideout, wouldn't you say? So what would you call this dive? Dunno. The Garden of Liberty, maybe? For a man who shakes down beggars and thieves for tribute, you're quite the romantic. You say tribute, I say taxes. You say thieves, I say hard-working street clerks. See, Witcher? I've got plans. Big plans. Far-reaching plans to reshape this city head to toe. Ever thought of seeking a seat on the city council? City council is a puppet Which troop just, what do I with buy a my dad? of the Church of the Eternal Fire. Do you think I could buy my dad some, like, t-shirts from EB Games? Do you think Radovin he'd be happy with that? His witch hunters took the reins. I mean, I could get him like a nice t-shirt with like Baby Yoda on it or something. I don't know. He hasn't even watched The Mandalorian, but like, maybe. What t-shirts do EB Games have currently? Sorry, I have no other ideas of what to buy, Dad. No ideas. Um, unless anyone else has some fun ideas, I'm down. I don't know why I'm distracted by this all of a sudden. <gasps> Lega. I like using a pick. Jokes on you. Lega. Psk, sacrilege. If it was a flat wound base, it would be different, but I like scratching on my round wounds. What? You know what? I'm not going to question. Apparel. T-shirts. Let me sweet, sweet t-shirts. It's on like Donkey Kong. Oh my god. Oh my god. I want to gonna buy dad that shirt oh my god wait okay that's shirt number one. Oh my god is that really a shirt oh my god it is oh i'm buying dad that shirt i'm buying that okay all right that's decided all right shirt number two um i got okay i need another reference that he would know something something related to video game something Let's go, let's go Nintendo, because he's likely to understand Nintendo. And hopefully I'll find something in his size. Okay, there's only, there's only like four shirts, but, 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 there is one with like Mario characters on them. Established in 1985. Crazy. 1985, wait, what? Really? Oh no, that makes sense. Sometimes I forget that things didn't start in, um... Show me! Show you what? I to resist saying this tick. <laughs> the Donkey Kong t-shirt? Just go Google it yourself, mate. You have EB games. 
Hugh, Hannah being confused about what's going on in chat. I know you guys are talking about bases. That's all I understood. Made my base sound like a gun once from clipping a cloth pin to the string. That's art, boys. Uh -huh. The shirt's silly. I don't know. Um. All right, I'm posting it. I'm po I'm posting it in the Discord. Okay. I feel like my dad would love that. All right, but I need another reference. Maybe a Marvel reference. I mean, I could almost do any reference at this point, though. I mean, I say almost. I mean, like, I could do Harry Potter or I could do Marvel. He's not a huge fan of Marvel. Just because he sees it as a bit unending, but maybe Harry Potter will be more his, his vibe. I'll just get him, like, a Hufflepuff t-shirt or something. I don't know. Look, I think he'd be happy with even just one shirt. This other one glows, though. Like the Deathly Hallows symbol. Oh yeah, what happened to the fashion disco? Shit, you're right, I forgot about that. Oh my god, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, fashion. Digger, and then... No, JK, yes. Wow, Anakin. Uh... Disney? My dad, like... I don't... Dad doesn't watch Disney. You know what, I'll buy him a... I'll, I'll, I'll buy him the Donkey Kong t-shirt. And then if I find something else, I find something else. If I don't, I don't. Okay. I figured out what I'm gonna do now. Okay guys, don't let me forget. I need to- I think I'll do it tomorrow. It's supposed to be cool tomorrow. I'll- Got him! Oh my god. Um. A man with a vision. One day, the so-called free city of Novigrad will be truly free. But before that can happen, we gotta rid it of superstition. Farting around about the hallowed essence of the eternal fire. Nonsense for kiddies. Apparently not. Cheering crowd at the execution. Mostly adults. Any crowd a rabble will cheer to the stench of burning flesh. But well, one day, folk will understand the eternal fire's naught but a leash around their necks. They call this place the Putrid She's Grove. She's so pretty. But it's the rest of Novi Grad that's oh. putrefied. This year's I mean, I love Yennefer, but... Uh, humanity, no, no, no. Sanity, reason. I'm actually glad someone like you's found his way to our city. Because it will be our city one day, Geralt. Mark my words. Okay. Yours, plural. Yeah, mine. And me friends. But that's a tale for another time. For now, I'll leave you two alone. Because I can see, well, you clearly need it. Gerald, I have a lot of things to take care of in town. I'll be glad to tag along. <laughs> the thing you don't see is I'm constantly, like, screenshotting. Oh my god. What's your arrangement? He using you? Jennifer is Helping meh compared to Triss. Don't at me. Six months ago, if somebody said Triss Marigold would be working for a Novigrad criminal, I'd never have believed it. Six months ago, Triss Marigold parted with someone very dear to her and had to start anew. Hasn't turned out like I imagined. Come on. Let me give you a taste of my life. Madam Sorceress. Beautiful as ever. Damn shame to part. Don't fret. Bound to be back soon. Okay. I take it you're in Novigrad on important business. Important doesn't do it justice. I'm looking for someone. 
more precisely. Young woman, who's like a daughter to me. Her? Here? No, impossible. She was here. There are witnesses, evidence. Was hoping cake. you'd heard something. <gasps> I could still make tea cake. Oh my god, why? Hannah, stop. I need you to help me attention. find something, Damn. anything. Why can't I do sh oh, cooking okay. streams yet? I'm not really cooking streams. I just want to sit and more. cook. <sighs> if I could own a cafe and stream it, like, like stream the cooking process as I like cooked for people, and and like people could be like happy, and I could feed people, that'd be great. <sighs> Okay, I don't know why I'm obsessing over this. I just... Those children are a plague. Damn. That's rude, bro. I just want to cook for people. Oh. Oh well? Hello, Klug. Managed to get those magic incense ingredients? Yes. Somewhat with uh, difficulties, you might say. I was walking along the canal with a sack full of goodies for you. Looked up and spied a trio of temple guards coming the other way. Get to the point, Klug. No time today for one of your long stories. Wait! A sack full of magicalities and they were coming straight towards me. I don't easily frighten, but uh, I felt a cold sweat on my arse, I did. I'm afraid I had no choice. I dropped the sack in the water. I had to! When asked why, I claimed it contained a dead cat. You shan't believe this, but they believed me. I need that package, Klug. I've got a contract. It must what contract? Be on the canal bed. Luckily, it was heavy enough to sink. I'm sure it'll turn up if you search. Okay, you we're having lettuce, lettuce. Okay, not just lettuce. Food. We're having salad for dinner with chips. Okay, and we're gonna eat the rest of the ham, or at least a partial amount of more of the ham. Adar is not a, is away tomorrow night, so I'm gonna have nachos probably. I can do that. Where'd you toss the package? Near the crane. Second bridge in from the harbor. I don't know why I sometimes I feel like such a control freak. The and then tomorrow I'm gonna go to the shops because it's Let's gonna be go. cool on. Stop. It's gonna be a longer walk yeah, there. They've come for us. The They've come for us. Until I began to prick his heels. Every man's got his sensitive spots. Interrogated a mage once. Pain couldn't touch him. Tore off his fingernails, crushed his bollocks, nothing. Turned out he was devilishly ticklish. I placed a beetle on his belly and set a mug atop it. Damn you, went mad. We were lucky this time, but you'd best leave via the sewers. Take care of yourself, Klug. See you around, Klug. I'm pretty sure he dies. I might be wrong, but I feel like he dies. Open sesame. Down we go. Oh, what? Wait, wait. What are you doing here? I really need a better silver weapon. I really do. You gonna shoot some fire to help me? No, you're just gonna stand there menacingly. Should be an exit. Clue wouldn't have sent us here. Must be a lever on this wall that will open a secret passage. Ooh. What? What am I looking for? Secret passage. I don't see no secret passage. Hello? Oh, okay. Never mind. I do see a secret passage. Free city of Novograd. Name actually used to mean something. Yeah, this place got fucked up. What? The very reason so many mages came here after the massacre at Loch Nguyen. Thought they'd be safe from Radovid's Reapers. Instead, they jumped out of the frying pan into the fire. Yo, that's but a reference from Lord of the, of the Rings. Mountain of coin. And winning a war takes three things. Coin, coin, and even more coin. That's yep. why they're exterminating mages, confiscating their property and possessions. And they'll go after non-humans next. Judging by what Klug said, the parcel should be around here on the bottom. People suck and it mistaken. sucks. What? He's been what? forgetful what? ever since Manga interrogated him. Seems to be suffering from a persecution complex, too. Current must have carried the sack seaward. I'll swim towards the port. Coming with? Uh, maybe some other time. Don't know what you're missing. Water's thick with pungent oils. Guessing it'll do wonders for my complexion. <laughs> Do I 
mean. Like, they say that he, they don't have any, like, emotions, but they make jokes. Like, they may not laugh, I guess, but they still express emotion, you know? Maybe maybe that's the point. Like, they, it gets rid of their facial... Like, maybe that feeling of, of, of joy is, like, minimized to the point where they don't really laugh, but they're still relatively good. Just dinner on Thursday I need to figure out. I could buy a little bit of ham. How do I dive? X. Sorry if I'm a little scatterbrained today. Um, I mean, it's not exactly abnormal for me, let's face it, but... You know. Um... You know, it's like nearing Christmas and there's still stuff that I need to kind of prepare for Christmas. You know, like, what am I gonna wear for Christmas? I don't know. Um, crap. Ugh. That'd be good. Happy birthday, Rian. I'm just gonna call you Rianne from now on. Find the parcel? Or did you get wet for no reason? Nothing like a refreshing swim in a filthy canal. Found a few fish, a rusty anchor, the carcass of a boat. Oh, and this. Oh, my package. Hope the contents aren't soaked through. Oh, you're a doll. I mean, it probably is, but sure, man. I mean, it's been sunk at be the bottom element. of it. Still remember my elements? How I use them? Come oh, on. Six months isn't that long. It's not like I'm senile. But you do have a history of amnesia. I've recovered my memory completely. Good. That should stop people from taking advantage of you. Someone's been taking advantage of me. I have, for one. I've never even intimated. We need to hurry. I like how she's just like, shut up. We're not worrying about that. Okay, here we go. This douche. Greetings, sorceress. Greetings, Brandon. I didn't expect you to bring company. Is that a problem? By the eternal fire, no. I'm surprised, that's all. Together, I expect Time to, to things stab twice some as eternal You've the look of bitches. true experts. Good morning. Hey. But I'd prefer you not to tarry and begin. Triss, you and Brandon here. You've agreed a price. We settled on what a time is it anyway? Parts. Oh, it's 11 okay. and co is a Also, I started to stream a little late because I was doing washing because I remembered today compared to yesterday. I'm a genius. Um Don't much like merchants who flatter with cheap praise before the job's done. That was not cheap praise. I was merely stating a fact. So am I. I want you to pay in full in advance. I'm afraid that's impossible. Then trap your own rats. Well, now I know why she brought you along. Fine. A full purse of Novigrad crowns as proof of my goodwill. 
Thank you. We need to place these crystals. We don't get the money here. if I say later. Near anything that looks rat related. At least she's not scared of rats like fucking some people I know. I'll cover sure. half the space. You take the other half. Look for evidence of rat activity. Mm -hmm. Rat the activity. Is, Why does that sound so dramatic? Activity looks like, but rodents. Geralt, we'd both rather be somewhere else. I'd rather be sitting in a royal council meeting, but they killed my king. Look for crevices. Who's her king? Once we place this incense, what then? I'll cast a spell and the rats will leave. Can't do that without sprinkling incense. Don't really feel up to looking for rat shit. Stop whining. It's kind of interesting. I actually forget that. So each king, I think, I I like ages ago, right? They were kind of like assigned a... Each king was assigned like a... Uh, a sorceress and that was the idea of like the lodge of sorceresses um they were all really powerful mages that um missing one um oh they're trailing now there real quick um they were all powerful really powerful mages that like had the person's ear i guess had the king's ear um but obviously if kings start quarreling oh there is one here if kings start quarreling and start fighting then they I start dying and then even the right. lodges get ready for some magic it's a little fireworks. once i activate the incense oh god to talk. she's so pretty she uses fire magic it's just so cool um well I was activating the spell now we wait for them to scurry away interesting method never had much luck with rats once I hit one with a fork in complete darkness trying to show off my witcher's senses masterful throw really problem was no one else saw it how could they in the dark <laughs> so what do you think rat catcher it's a long way to fall from being advisor to Temeria's king. Temeria. Okay. I'm just glad to see so you. So around where Velen is. And... Oh, wait, does this have a map? Uh, I wasn't listening to the conversation. Could you reiterate what you just said? Just where's? There's got to be a map somewhere in here, right? <laughs> Sorry, mommy. Well, knew a man once who reacted to everything, especially adversity, by mocking it. Healthy attitude. Must have lived long. Came a day he lost both his legs in battle. He shrugged, said it was better that way. He'd never feel pain in them again. I understand him perfectly. I know. Thing is, he was lying to himself. I think he just didn't have much of a choice. Good point. He could be right, but only he knows the truth. We're only ever the ones to know the truth about ourselves. Speed. Which we share at times with those we hold dear. That's cute. Even if it's hard to swallow? Even then. Who knows? Maybe one day. So pretty. It's weird so, to think that she's like a witch. Tell me that... how Yen is doing. How do you know I found her? You didn't answer my question. How's Yen? <laughs> She's fine. That's good. Asking about anything specific? Never mind. I got my answer. Damn. Damn! Yeah, like a map. There should be a map. Like the whole thing. Boom. Aha. We'll have to fight soon though. Well, well. Are lovebirds having themselves a little chat instead of working? The rats are the leaving. What do you done. mean? Geralt, those are. I know who they are, Triss. My friends begged me to notify them if I encountered a mage, sorceress, what have Brilliant. you. Brilliant. Pokemon, brilliant. Diamond and Pearl. Them. Players finds the most worthless shiny in the, the game. <laughs> the most worthless shiny. Rats, late. You paid up front and got what you paid for. 
Um, Not half a rodent left in the granary. I paid in advance because I knew I'd recover my coin. <laughs> Such is life for sorceresses in Novigrad these days. I can see that and I don't like it. So here's what it's I really do. funny. I've been on adventures with Triss, but her hand and doesn't go out of, go. out of, There'll like, fire. No such thing. All right, we've talked. Do what you gotta. Heard enough from this. As have I. Time to stab some motherfuckers. Go stab a bitch. Let's go. Don't kill me, good sir. No, they forced me. Had I not told them, they'd have set fire to my home, my warehouse. The mage hunters know no mercy. Spare me, good man. Be not like those murderers. Shut up. I should kill you. Thing is, you'd be no good to anyone but the gulls as a corpse. So you'll live. And pay us double. Now. <laughs> Fine. Your coin. Now get. The Witcher. Thanks, Geralt. Map. Aha! I have found map. Duh. Okay. So I'm pretty sure the the actual TV show. You should try to keep starts out company. somewhere in Nilfgaard around the bottom, just, you know, and then I by the end of it, I'm pretty sure they're near. They're, oh no, 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 wait. No, it's like Sintra. Because Sintra is where Siri is. Or maybe that's where Geralt starts, and then they meet up in Sintra. And then Timeria is just below Redania. She's taken a job close by. Edwin, Adia, Lyria. And the it's house is near the first Nilfgaard, bridge. which is all, owner, all of, like, is rich banker. this purple Not part that's, that's all, like, pink. To take care of. So all of that, they're warehouse. basically being Imperials Not and trying exactly. to take over the rest. Not so really at this point, they've taken over Sintra. Such are the times. Um, what does this say? Sodden? Uh, Verdun, Broccolung, Temeria, Syria. So they just have Redania left. And, like, what's up north of there? Wait, it's okay, Morans should still be up the top somewhere, right? I didn't say anywhere. <laughs> Show Novigrad here either. Hmm. Anyway, should really just rewatch the season. Nice seeing you. It was nice to see you again. You too, Geralt. You're really pretty. You should go now. Before Kareen goes back into hiding somewhere. What if I want to find you? I live in the bits, near the fish market. Stop by. It'll be nice. All right. See you later. I'll always come see you again. I mean, um, I'm supposed to be Lois Trist. Ah, yes, the dreamer. I love this quest. Yo, level 11. Uh, pun. I still was supposed to do some side quests, but here we are. Just passing by, wanderer? Or do you seek something specific? Who's asking? Rudolf de Jonkier. Of those de Jonkiers, yes. My ancestors laid the foundations of this Osh. city. I now own its largest bank. Didn't need a recommendation. Name would have been enough. Father always said, all ought to know your merits, son. Don't hide them under a bushel. I'm looking for Corrine Tilly. Well, you've come to the right place, then. Corrine is inside. Been there for a few days, dreaming the home's history. I'd like to go inside, look around. I don't usually let strangers rummage around my home. 
twin swords, though. You're a witcher. You may enter. Call that my whim. Thanks, man. Preach. Again, another fun little quest here. Definitely really like this quest. Not for any real particular reason. It's just... I think it's, again, like it's having... Um, like the godling... Blood, don't spill it, please. All right. I'm over in combat. No, what did I pick up? Do I have anything better? Or I can just drop this shit? <gasps> it's a silver sword. Oh my god, fuck yes. Okay, I somehow picked up way too many weapons. But I could also sell them. Okay, what, what armor do I have? That's 10 better, 5 better, 14 better, 18 better, 16 better. Okay, we want that. And... Uh, that's it. Ah, these. Okay. Hmm. I could sell some of these for pretty good amounts. Hmm. Well, I'll drop some of the weapons at least. Oh, I have a better weapon. Oh. I'm down here. Goes and picks up more random shit. Blech. Um. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Let me try that again. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, use that letter. Use the letter or lose the letter. Go away. Don't do that. Leave it. Here, Kareem. Ah! I like how it looks all evil. Corinne, also really pretty. I think you need more of a shirt. Also, Wake up. it's just a dream. Maybe more of pants Wake as well. Up. She's been going three days without food and water. Isn't anyone worried about that? Put it down, please. That's blood. Don't spill it. Please. Yeah, cow's milk. Leave it. Aha! All right, let's play your games. The next room's blocked. has been hastily drawn by a child it seems there was a cradle on the second floor wonder what had happened if i laid a doll in it i always get too much alcohol in this game and then i do not eat it in the slightest maybe that's normal i mean i do that with alcohol in the real world as well so maybe it's just a reflection of who i am as a person shaking well i mean kind of true that's blood don't spill it please Masterpiece. An oven and a blackened grate. 
Saw an oven in the cellar. Stop! Go away! Don't do that. Leave it! Alrighty. Little godling. Sarah, I think it is. Correct me if I'm wrong. Remember, I was really intimidated by doing this the first time. Boo. Did I scare you? Scared you, didn't I? I could tell you were scared. Big brave man. Yeah, I was right. Wee little Sarah. Ain't that funny? I wouldn't do that anymore if I were you, Sarah. You might scare someone so bad they'll hurt you. Why would someone hurt me? Having a spot of fun's not allowed anymore. What are you playing? That lady fell asleep. And I've sent her some horrible dreams. I'll not her wake, neither. I can do that, you know. Funny, isn't it? Very funny. Thing is, her voice, the voice actor dreamer. sounds like someone so like who did like up. a voice in like some of the Harry Potter games. Little Sarah wanted to play. You're lucky. I know you're a harmless godling, but others might not know. And then. And how do you know I'm a godling, eh? How's that, eh? Hey? If it looks like one and acts like one, trust me, you're a godling. You give the dreamer nightmares and won't let her wake up. Why are you tormenting her? I'm not tormenting anyone. Scary dreams are great. What I love is when this big hen chases me. Hen's got this red. Why do you live in a haunted house? Tell you a secret. <laughs> the house ain't haunted. Not one bit. I just pretend it is. Make everyone think that. It was sitting there all empty. So I moved in. Bigwig from the bank then came and bought it. I don't like bankers, especially not to live with. So I decided to give him a scare. Gave the banker a really big scare. See, he paid a lot for this house and won't give it up easily. Which is why you need to find another home. I don't want to. I don't. I won't. Guess I have to throw you out. Sarah, wow. Novigrad's no place for a godling. But if you want to live here, that's your business. So let's make a deal. A deal? What kind? Leave the dreamer alone. In exchange, I'll tell the banker the house is haunted. For good, no way to lift the curse. You tell him that? What if he doesn't believe you? I'm a witcher. He'll believe me. Yes? 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 Do that, and I promise not to bother your friends. Not even a little. You're awfully nice, you know. I don't hear that often. Thanks. Aww. No, don't wake that sleepyhead. I won't stop her. She'll get up. I just think that's so cute, though. Just do those creepy giggles every so often and no one will surely come by and annoy you. Hey, Corinne. Who are you? Bob. Chris Marigold sent me to see you. Gods. Horrible nightmares. I was supposed to dream the history of this house. Instead, I saw furniture. Hungry furniture that wished to devour me. That's pretty scary. And That's like the My finished. Little Ponies. But in the dream like episode that I remember Talk scaring the crap out of me and not at all amusing the work of a godling she made people believe the house was haunted also injected your dreams with her little jokes and you managed to wake me I feel fortunate we witchers have our ways I thank you very much the dreams they were awful any way I can pay you back there is actually I'm looking for a young woman who was seen in Novigrad I can certainly uh, try to help, pardon. but I'll need to clear my head first. After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. All right. See you there. Okay. God, the giggling. <laughs> yeah. I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved? Or quite the opposite. A bit of both. A demon had captured Corrine. I managed to free her, but the house is still haunted. 
Did Corrine dream of the building's past? Yeah. Pretty horrid, apparently. Though she refused to talk about it. Nobody should inhabit the place. So many crowns I paid! Oh, well. It shan't put me in the poorhouse. Exactly. Don't complain, fucking rich person, alright? Sorry. <laughs> wow, okay, that was a little a little more assault than I anticipated. Um, anyway. Storyline. Um, stories, talking. I feel like I was like, I, I don't know. Oh, all the rats are still- yep, go on rats. Have a good life. That reminds me, I do want to go sell some stuff right over here. Alright, take my things. Yep, so that's worse, that's worse, that's worse, that's worse. No, this stuff's better. Hmm. That's the funny thing about this game, like, it's so hard to get, like, money. And then you, like, sell a bunch of armor, and then you forget, like, how much armor is in this game. It's kind of mad, bro. Um, anything else to sell? I, I would like to dismantle a bunch of stuff. First, let's upgrade. Nope, I need that. That's 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 a quest. Needed to complete a quest. Yeah, duh. Pure silver. I can sell pure silver. It's a little crazy. Um, there should be other stuff that I can dismantle. Not that stuff. Perfume. Is that actually always that expensive? Hold the phone. Nope, never mind. They don't buy it. Okay. Uh, actually, crafting might be a good idea to just have a quick look at. Okay. Alrighty. Crafting. What can you make? Ah. This glare is still way some ways off. Whoops. Um. I could buy this though at least. Just in preparation. Um. I wonder. Can I make any? I should be able to make at least some silver. I know I'll need a lot of dark iron ingots to make plates later. So that's going to be important. Um. Looking for silver. Here. Hmm. So here I could definitely make it and then I can just use it later. Well, I can use it when I next level up, which won't be too long. Or I can go for a little bit more damage and wait until level 13, which might be a better idea considering I just got a better weapon, so... Uh, master crafted. It's even better. Hmm. Hmm. Um. I'm 
haven't been checking the sound, I've just realized. Anyway, uh... Waiting till level 16 is kind of far away though, so let's make this one. Yeah. Do I have any better stuff? Little 15. I would like to make the griffin sword, but I need the base version first. That's actually something else I need to look up. I need to find locations of the of the griffin gear. Again, I could probably find them off memory, but I would uh, in case I Mitch and miss anything in particular. Witcher 3, uh Griffin gear. Wait, is it Griffin gear or is it cat gear? I think I want cat gear. Cat. Here we go. It's that or Griffin. Anyway, we're not gonna worry about that. So long. Arigato. Now I'm all ready to murder. You know I me. Mean? Time for another Siri section. We're gonna go save Dandelion. Deadly Delights. Please tell me it's about eating food. I know that's not what the best is going to be about, but I can dream, Harold. I see a challenger who seeks to subdue Kyle Dryer. Mr. Staircase. Blood. Please cover your mouth when you cough. Oh. Gotta have radical ones here. A dream in here. Never witnessed a seance like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. You must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Let's do this. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. Woman's name is Siri. Um, it was there when I died. What? What's this one? It was in Rivia. The second war with Nilfgaard had just ended. There was still tension in the air. For God's know what reason, race riots erupted in the town. I tried to do something, but couldn't stop a riled crowd. A boy with a pitchfork. He ran it right through my gut. Jennifer lay dying as well. This Siri happens. had us carried onto a boat. We sailed to a place where apple trees bloom eternal. She left us there. That was the last time I saw her. That was the last time Is you saw her? Like to add? Another memory, perhaps. Yeah. Yes. There's something else. All right. I accepted a job once. Did it. Asked to choose my reward, I invoked the law of surprise. So that's that's Never thought I'd actually meet the child promised to me at that time. Yeah. Years later, I was in the Broccolon forest. Happened on a girl there. Didn't know who she was. And that's the end of the first season. The Dryads wanted to keep her, turn her into one of their own. But the waters of oblivion, they failed in her case. Siri came out of Broccolon with me. I sent her back to her grandmother then. But already, I felt bound to her. By destiny. By something more. Thank you. Would you be willing to share another memory? No. Let's continue. You claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. Um. They call Siri the Lady of Space and Time. Once I asked Jennifer why, she travels between worlds. <laughs> Turns out I don't know how to talk about it. 
didn't really understand much of what Yen told me. I just know there's more to it than traveling to different places, and that Siri carries immense power in her blood. I see. GP is a Delta Ron. And I'm just like, what the hell, Chris? Where have you taken me? Um, <laughs> sorry. Mems. Mememimus. Ah. Quest two, quest two. Yeah. She's a child of the elder blood. A descendant of bloody Volker. The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the firebrand's cursed blood. Pure yep. legend. No one a legend transforms into prophecy when it gains believers. I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. No, I'm good. No. Naturally. Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You think about cookies. And oh my god. Siri. We have cookies in the house. Tell me where you Brain. think she might be. Brutus, okay. Who could be at her side? Okay. Mm. okay. If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Maybe Dandelion. They liked each other a lot. I want to see Dandelion and Siri meet. I don't know when that happens, but I'm sure it, I'm sure that would be a fantastic thing to see in the TV show. Dandelion, he's heckin' weird. No! You're an idiot, Dandelion! Just shut up! I'm trying to go places! Look at him, he's so ostentatious. Siri? I thought this was like a whole section, but I guess that's later. Oh yeah, that's later when we hear Wilson. Oh yeah, that's right. He broke into a vault because he's an idiot. <laughs> Sorry, maybe that's a little harsh. Those are a lot of bare legs. What's with the <sighs> texture in the background? The swallow at first. After that, just nightmares. At times, the dreams can multiply. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow. It symbolizes Siri. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet. Heard about him. Someone left him the rosemary and thyme in their will. Who did that? The rosemary and thyme? Where's that? As you enter the city through the red light district, you come upon a bridge. The rosemary is just past it. Dandelion inherited a brothel? So I've heard. Of course he did. He'd love that, wouldn't he? Oh, and say I have Thanks to say, that. Rosemary and Time's a weird you. name for I hope you find brothel. your Siri. Thanks, Car. Yeet! Alright, we're gonna go look for some armor, because I like cat armor. That's it. <laughs> That's the whole story. But first, I need to look at the map, and I've got to mark the location. Can I make more than one, like... Okay, no, I can't. Spawn it up over here, and it would be good to get some uh, further teleport points just around here. I will have to walk back down there later. There's one over here, I think two. Um... Hmm... And this one, I think it showed over here. What? Yo! Hey, ABD. How's it going, dude? Thank you for the raid. Much appreciated. I hope you're having another beautiful day. Hee hee hee. Oh, and Merry Christmas. I need to get in the habit of saying Merry Christmas. It's so heckin' weird to my brain, because I haven't been to church, I haven't talked to other living people, why are there random people in the street aggroing? Oh, I just, I forget that it's Christmas. No, guys, we're not fighting. Chillax. 
Other humans, me and one person are dropping by. Hell yeah. Well, thank you. Uh, what, 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 what were you playing? First? Uh, I can't be bothered. <laughs> I need to get to the bridge up there. Yeah, what game were you vibing with? I've been playing some Witcher because um, the second season came out, despite I haven't watched it yet. I'm gonna watch it soon though. Okay, that's door is locked. I think the thing is, is that any anytime I have time to watch it, it's like, no, no, I'm gonna stream instead. So I haven't quite found the time that kind of is like, ah, yes, I am streaming. And uh, well, I don't. I have time to watch it, and I don't plan on streaming. It was really funny. Adara was like, "Oh, we could just watch it on the weekend on on Saturday," and I'm like, "Adara, Saturday is Christmas Day." <laughs> She's like, "Oh yeah." <laughs> uh, should be a staircase up. Yeah, here we go. I'm having an amazing time. I just be Remno from the Ashes with melee only. A hey, very nice, very nice. Melee only, isn't it? The game is mainly supposed to be guns. Like, what's what's the melee part of it? Because as far as I knew, there was only guns. The best way people describe it. It's like Dark Souls, but with guns. Which could still totally happen. I'll call it, like, gun darts. Yep. Slap that on a video game cover. I'm a genius. I'm just running around grabbing some armor right now. I say that, I don't know exactly where I'm going, despite I know exactly where I'm going. I know approximately where I'm going. Uh, we'll... Hmm. We'll see if I can figure out where I'm going exactly. Here we go, teleport point. There you go. No issues. You get, like, a little side weapon with your guns. Oh, okay. So, like a, like a, like a dagger or something. I think it's down here. That looks like a path. Ugh. Oh god. I say a little side part like a dagger. Uh, I'm thinking of a bayonet, I think. Uh oh. Okay, maybe this isn't where I wanted to go. Shit. Oh god. <gasps> Second death. <laughs> okay. I mean, Adara could always have soup on on Thursday. We could have like soup and like, I don't know, something else. Soup and Savoys, let's fucking go. Sorry, I've been planning out what we're having for food for the next couple of days. Um, where am I? Oh, I'm all the way back here. <sighs> okay, you know what? I was hoping it saved when I maybe found the the, the place, but it, it's, it's fine. Look, just... Like, you can get a hammer or a sword. That's a nice fall. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm I'm trained and falling over. Um, oh, well, there you go. I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. You know me. I'm always a melee main. Probably one of the reasons I'm not inclined to play something like Remnant of the Ashes, but hey. If you can do a melee main. <laughs> no. Um, the temptation is strong. Man, I'm getting deja vu, isn't that weird? Yeah. Have you played anything like Dark Souls? I'm actually wondering. Like, um, you know, like you like you like the Dark Souls-esque sort of games and and where am I? Um 
Keeps the rogues indoors. Sure, man. That's that's what happens. Keeps the rogue indoors. What do you mean? Melee is really fun. Hell yeah. Melee is best fun, in my opinion. Just give me a sword, let me hack and slash. Because that's all I want to do in life. Well, I mean, not in real life, obviously. Unless it's like food. Let me hack and slash food. Mm. I'm so hungry. Uh. Dodge. Run. Fun. Hey, you! Yes, you! You got water on the Um, I do actually. I have water beside me. That's a good idea. I should take I should take some I should drink that water. Thank you for telling me to hydrate. I keep waking up with like a little bit of like a sore throat. It's not like actual a sore throat, it's like a partial sore throat, you know? Should be around you. Okay, and then this was where I was before, and then I fell down and died. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. We figured that out. I can't remember, am I supposed to like enter a house? Locked. Ooh. There's a path here. Okay. Aha! I was close. I don't know where I got lost. Yeah. Nahalani. Ah, oh, this looks like a bad time. <laughs> Should be somewhere near here, I'm pretty sure. I've played way too much Dark Souls. I've done level one playthroughs and shield only ones too. How do you do shield only? Wait, wait, you mean like shield bashing? Wait, can you shield bat? You can shield bat. Parry only. Everything you have to parry. Can you imagine? Okay, that's not the stuff I wanted. Disappointment. That's fine. I'll kill the girl. Holy fudging nugget. Okay. Um. I wasn't expecting that. Okay. <laughs> I love me some Dark Souls. I don't think I could ever do a level one playthrough. Though I have to admit, I've always been very tempted to do like a um you know, like, do one of, like, those cheats where you can use, um, the souls, right? Like, in Dark Souls 1, there's, like, a trick where you can, like, activate, like, a thousand souls or something. And you do that, and then you can, like, level up. It's just, just do a god playthrough run. That's what I would call it. I want to do a god playthrough run. There's nothing is more fun. Alright. 14. I could do that. <laughs> okay. Maybe not. Uh, that's the wrong one. <laughs> Excuse me. Not good. Wasn't expecting the follow-up swing. Yeah, 
out of here. Hell yeah. GG. Alright, where's the goods? Maybe you just hit people with shields and hope it goes well. A god playthrough would be so fun. Hell yes. I mean, you can kind of do a god playthrough if you, like, if you're, like, level, like, like, like in Dark Souls 3, for example. You know, like, playing with, um, with other people is, um, a lot easier than the previous games. So if you, like, play through with an individual who's, like, soul level 1, like, they're going through the first playthrough, and you're sitting there with your heckin' Havel's armor, level 802, everything maxed, you could do it. I mean, you have to have someone around that level, but... Key! A key? Don't speak such nonsense. No one has keys anymore. But when I have fire! That what then then okay. Should we hmm. yeah, I wanna do that for Dark Souls 1 at some point. Not Dark Souls 2. Dark Souls 2 sucks. I don't care. I'll say it. What the hell is this? Look to the deaths to be lifted up. No, 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 no. Not that, please. We have conducted a series of studies on the genotype of the creatures commonly known as drowned, is sadly administering a poison made of fugu fish made of induced a coma in all of the species in the study. All after 24 hours, the vital functions all above mentioned species ceased, prohibiting us from continuing with the study. Okay. No, no, walk away from it. No, no. No. Why is this not cooperating with? Fine, go do it. Fine, go press the button. I don't want you to press the button, but here we are. I can't believe I'd have to fight again. Okay, there we go. Look up. <laughs> mm, excuse me, sir. What is this raggle gaggleness? Raggle gaggleness. I'm taking that. How about you? How could you say that about DS2, JK? I do like the game, but there are many problems with it. <gasps> I like. I think it's just. I think it's just like. Like, obviously, the first problem. What? Activate it. Um, the first obvious problem with it is the dodging mechanic, okay? The dodging should not be dependent on a statistic. Especially when, I feel like, like, it's the type of game. Is it, is it vitality you have to increase? Something like that? I can't remember. But, like, when you Ori, you're trying to, like, especially if you're doing, like, a mage build or something, you know? Like, you're Ori putting enough effort into the game. Ooh, it auto-saved. Um into the game to increase your strength or your magic or your intelligence faith all of this stuff the last thing you want to worry about is whether your heckin thing is good enough your vitality is good enough or whatever it is adaptability that's what it is yeah uh your adaptability being good enough to be able to dodge properly Oh, I like how Jess shares. He's like, I'm back. I'm here for this conversation. I like these two as well, but many problems is an understatement. I mean, shit, they ruined rolling, the quintessential piece of all of Souls-like games. Exactly. I mean, like, and I agree that maybe, maybe Dark Souls 3 is a little crazy on dodging, but it's still a good mechanic. <laughs> like, it's better than any other bullshit you gotta put up with. Mysterious recipe. Delicious. Oh, yeah. Come on. I dive. Thank you. It's okay, guys. They're one hit kills once I pull out my. Once I pull out my crossbow, they'll be done. Yeah. 
It's ridiculous. I one shot drowners in water. It's because their skin is like really, really soft. Anyway, um, more importantly, God. Ugh, okay. How do I get out of here? Oh, here we go. The level one and shield play and it was painful. The thing I like about DS2 is mostly the story. Oh, the storyline's amazing. I love the lore of the game. I love the places. Like, I remember lo absolutely loving, like, you know, you find out about the, um, you know, like the relationship between the two towers of flame and how they have like a room, like a, a tower of Heidi and then like the soul, t the sun tower and the moon tower. And, but they were like the opposite, but they were like, why can't I climb up here? Um, like they were opposite, but they were like in love with each other. It looks like the floor is broken. Oh wait, I can climb up over here. There we go. Floor is just a thin layer. Here we go. Oh wait, nope, that's where I entered from. Oh wait, nope, I got the key. Never mind. Um. And then, you know, like the whole thing about like the giants invading and then like the, the dark sign starting to like infect people and that the king is terrified. So he's like, I'll lock them away. And then he's like, all right, I'm getting infected with it. I'll lock myself away. <laughs> and then King Aldia being like, nah, bitch, I want to be a dragon, which is, I'm pretty sure still only a theory. I can't remember the exact thing around this. Is that a person? Is that a live person? Uh, um, excuse me, sir. Would you like to talk about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Um, <laughs> sorry. Like, the whole issue is that DS1 and 2 made no qualms about your rollability being a constant. That's how Soul Level 1 runs were so viable in 1 and 3. Absolutely. Yes, and the whole thing about the Ivory King is so cool. I've forgotten the Ivory King story, but yes. I can't remember as much of, like, the DLC stuff. I'd have to go back and, and watch them. Um, but, like, it was really pretty. And then, like, Shanalot with, like, the dragon stuff is, like, really cool. I just love it. As a game, DS2 is top tier Souls, like, choices. As... Dark Souls 1, sequel, it's terrible. They upstage the entire plot and rebalance everything that they already balanced. Was that supposed to be the other way around? Oh, okay, so you're saying DS2 alone is is a certain is like is a pre is a is a top tier souls like choice. But as a Dark Souls sequel, it's terrible. Yeah, so it, because it comes up behind Dark Souls um, 1, it's just disappointing. Seems you are bleeding. <gasps> what is this? Why am I even trying this? Ugh. Why do you... All I wanted was a cake, all right? You had to ruin. No good, no evil, only pain. Holy fuck, he does so much damage. <laughs> Why am I even trying this? I don't know, man. He hold, it looks like he's holding the middle finger up at me. <laughs> oh, shit. Ooh. I could totally do this. She says, taking a fuck ton of damage. Give me a second, lad. I'm just trying to heal a bit more health. <laughs> 
Anyway, I kind of wish they went, uh, they would have brought Crowns and Aldia back for DS3 or a DLC for DS3. Yeah, I do agree. Like, I I really liked um, like Aldia and like a lot of the lore, even like Shanalot, right? Like when I heard Ocelot in like the Child of Dragons, right, by Osiris, I was like, maybe that's Shanalot, like it's related to Shanalot in some way. It wasn't. We don't know anything about the two. It's probably just a inspiration notice. I was really hoping, just because it's really cool how DS2 has, like, the, the reference of the bug of Isolith, right? And it crawls into the eye of, like, the, the lone sinner. Um, um, like, those little, like, tidbits that kind of, like, in, uh, like, showed the influence from the DS1. And obviously DS3 just went, kind of like skipped over, like pretend DS2 never happened and just sort of related more to the first linking. Um, no good, no evil, only pain. <laughs> Mistake. Ooh. Ow, the fucking quick attack is killing me. <gasps> Shit, we traded. Oh god. Oh god, I'm dead. I should be dead. Like wolves. That was so funny. He just walked away like, what? <laughs> Feels like it should be DLC for no apparent reason. Come through the door, I dare you. He's getting more aggressive, you can tell. It's the cool thing about this game. And like other games as well. It's like, I could come across ugh, someone like this. Ugh. That's enough of that. Ridiculously hard. Why did I do that? <laughs> I probably can't even wear this armor. I don't care. How much? How much? Wait, 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 wait. It is level 17 armor. Cool. <laughs> Fantastic. Ah. <laughs> uh, well, you know, it's worth it. Hashtag yeet. I did it. I did it because I could. That's 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 what matters, guys. Okay. If you believe. 
you can conquer any chocolate bar, okay? Oh my god, I want chocolate. <laughs> What's happening, guys? Sorry. Okay, wait, I'm gonna have to scroll up a little bit. Um, bring back, okay. The environments were beautiful in the DLC, but they never seemed to be the real significance to the areas. As DS1 or 3, it just feels like the devs went, hey, this looks cool and let's include it based on that. I also feel like, um, I mean, maybe this is a bit, bit of hate, but like, like, as far as I remember, I'm pretty sure a lot of people don't like the DLC of, of Dark Souls 2, because it's like, big snow area. Cool, great. I think the only thing, one of the things I do wish though, is that again, like, Majula has like a lot of really beautiful areas. Like a lot of people may not like the black gulch in terms of like an area, but at least it's really cool with the bright green and like the black sort of aesthetic. Compared to just all of Dark Souls 3 feeling extremely, like, except for maybe Irithyll. Irithyll's beautiful, but it's still all very dark and grim and it fits the theme of the game, but I sometimes wish you know, you could see Anno Londo again in its full glory. Put the weapon away, man. I'm gonna get in trouble. Uh, and the teleport point was up here, maybe, or something? Whereas DS1 had deep and seated um, themes in every area you visit. Yeah, absolutely. Name any boss in DS1 and I can tell you how it relates to the opening cinematic. I cannot say the same for DS2. No, DS2's opening cinematic was like, oh, we can make it look pretty. And they were like, okay, let's do it. It's like, what about lore? No, 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 we don't care about that. Dude, like half of the bosses in DS2 have no point in being in the game. <laughs> yeah, that's true. They're cool and they're fun. They seem insignificant to the world building. Like even down to the weird ass gaping dragon of DS1, you could say it seems out of place but it doesn't Gwyn caused the fall of the dragons and now we find their remnants in disarray it's showing it's showing or not telling the story yeah i actually didn't know that about the gaping dragon it does make sense and then you know like artorius being related to um like trying to stop the abyss which is related to sif in the main game um Related to the the positioning of the Hornet Ring beside Artorius's grave, a place that of power. that Sif is protecting and wielding his sword, which connects to him having the ring in order to get access to the to the king's places and stuff. I mean, like I think, I mean, maybe it's cruel to say that. I mean, you don't need every, uh, you don't need every boss. I wonder if I could just murder them. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, I didn't even know I could enter this place. I don't think I've ever seen this. I think I usually just stab. I wish it. I don't, I don't know. I don't... How do I get out of here? Um. Um. You know, related to the four kings being in the abyss. I can't remember the whole story about the kings of the abyss, but uh, yeah. So it's cool to say that maybe, maybe every boss doesn't necessarily need to relate to the larger storyline but i think like at least again like in comparison to dark souls 1 there's a lot of that kind of precedent like every single boss that you go against is a part of a larger story meanwhile in ds2 that are like let's put two dragon ride fighters in and you're sitting there and you're like we don't need two dragon Rider fights one with one person, then one with two people, okay? We don't need it. And they're like, no, 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 we need it. Also, we need Ornstein again in a random church. Why? <laughs> I don't know. I, um. Anyway. Also, the elevator that goes up to the lava castle? Hell yeah. What? What? Wait. Excuse me, sir. What? Not good. I teleport here and you guys just sass on me, burn. Why is there a woman screaming? Oh, okay. Fucking yeah, that's what I thought, bitch. No, I hit you first. Get him. Woof. 
My job here is done. <gasps> chicken leg. Damn it, I really want chicken. I need it. It's okay. It's almost Christmas, Hannah. You can wait a little longer. I swear to God. My brain just keeps thinking about food. Okay, we're going in here. I don't think there's anything in here, she says. I don't think that'll kill me. Yes, to falls into the lack of direction problem since Miyazaki couldn't leave the dev team. Yeah, and they fall on hard archetypes to describe every area. Forest, pirates, dragons, poison, because that's in like the requirements section. Um, snow, fire. Like you can break down every location of what's there, not what it's meant to be. Yeah, yeah, and like, again, like, I think all the areas look really pretty, but they don't connect in terms of, like, a world, right? Like, I think it's really cool with, um, with the, again, Dark Souls 1, right? And maybe, maybe, maybe DS3 is a little bit more disconnected, but it's at least, it's the type of idea, right? Where, uh, like, have you seen the maps that my, I had a friend, like, post, like, a video where it was, like, from certain points in the game, you can literally see, like, you can see the Arch, uh, Arch Peak Dragon place from far away. You can see all of the, the undead settlement and, like, you get to, like, there's the bridge with the poison swamp underneath it. Like, all, the world is actually all really interconnected very well together. Same thing with DS1, you know, like, you have the undead settlement um, above it, you know, going up into, like, Sen's fortress that, that leads which is attached to the side of Anna Londo as a larger area and then below it there's the dark root garden leading into the abyss and like the, the dragons that are down there I can't remember exactly why they're down there but you know lightning boys that leads into blight town uh which leads into like the kind of under underground fire area right um in dark souls 2 I always forget what leads to the fire area. Why is there a whole fire area? It's the iron keep, but why is it in lava? I, I think the place sunk or something. The point is though, is that you don't see it from a far off distance. The game sections off each of the, the areas um, to make them all very disconnected through specifically very thin um, very thin corridors most of the time. If I remember correctly, there's a very thin corridor between, uh, example A, Medjooler, and the first area, the, the Grave of the, grave of the Giants, the Giants, the, the first little area where you go up into the, into the ramparts of the fortress. Um, and, um, there's this very small corridor, and then it just leads to there. Uh, on the other side, there's a small corridor. Majula through lead through. One area leads to the Tower of Hydely. The other area leads to uh, the Foggy Place, maybe. Or right, that's actually that's even another good example. The Foggy Place. There's a small hallway, and then it's just like the big castle, and it's like raining, and that's where what's its name is supposed to be. Where uh, Aldric? Aldric? Who am I? Who am I thinking now? Um, the king, though. And I just wrote out why. Oh, okay. <laughs> Still. Forest of Fallen Giants. Okay, I was close. Grave of the Giants. What is that from? The elevator from Har- Uh, wait, yeah. The elevator from Harvest Valley to the Iron Bridge makes sense. It's supposed to be the volcano. Oh, that's what it is. Elevator from Harvest Valley to the Iron Bridge. It's supposed to be the volcano at the top of the- at the top with all the toxic gases that fall down to the valley below. Oh, okay. But the elevator lends no credence to the concept. It's just like, hey, we're suddenly in a volcano. They try to set it up, but we see no clues of the iron keep from below. Yeah. I think the area I still like the most is probably like taking the bird to the Bastille and then the Bastille being connected to a dock and then the dock leading to like the other, the, the other dock, I guess. You know, like that little connection? I like that connection. Um, but you do, you like, you can at least understand what I'm saying, right? There's a lot of sections where rather than feeling like they're a bit more in interconnected, there always seems to be hallways separating, separating off in the different directions. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> we have the daily Elden Ring meme. Oh, 
Oh, I'm hungry. Okay. What's down here? Oh. Hell yeah, there's a bunch of shit in there. Worth it. There we go, that's what I wanted. That's a lot of manuscripts, Pog. <coughs> Pardon. Blech. Um. Yeah. Oh, it's higher than me, is it? <laughs> Yeah, no, fair. Okay, I'll look for the griffin gear instead. <sighs> okay. I get it. Cat arm is too strong for me. A griffin. <laughs> okay. This too connects, but it doesn't tell a story with visuals. That is why DS1 is bragged and doted on. That's the get-go. We find hollows praying for release from the curse. Where's our big, our first big plot reveal? The parish, a church. Oh, okay, you're talking about that arrow. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you get to the top, there's gargoyles. And then it's like, ring, well, you already told from the start, ring the two bells. And you're like, okay. Again, some of the lore, you have to dig a little bit for it, but. Like, the interconnectedness helps um, establish the game storyline a lot better. All right. What level is this armor? Level 14 armor, I think. Okay, look at that. So, uh, what's up here, bros? More random shit. No, oh, no, go back down. There's still one more here. I, no, no, okay, never mind, I'm wrong. Reliever's decoction. Alright. I only see Geralt's insides. What? Okay. Well, it's feeling like this is part of a quest. I literally can't remember what quest, but it's a part of a quest. I mean, considering there's a dead skeleton at the top, I feel like that's a little bit of a ta like a tell sign. Okay. It's funny that that's that song tune that I just did. Yeah, it's there. That's what I thought. Um, is like from what's it called again? Like the Robin Hood. But like they're animals. Furry Robin Hood. That's what I should just call it from now on. Where is this? Oh. Oh. I don't remember this place. Okay. It's near a lesson, but we should be fine. Alright. Ah, <laughs> All right, we are going here, here, I'm going here. You could even say Under Paris is a dark protestant church to the concepts of Gwyn's doctrine. Oswald, the guy you meet after Gargoyle's Bell, even sells a dark miracle and a miracle catalyst that scales with intelligence, not faith, and you find the elevator to Filing Shrine, close to closed because they've turned away from the Church of Gwyn. Is that what happens? <laughs> Me being like, ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Sad people. Um. 
I could write a book on the significance of DS1 locations, dude. Hell yeah, I'm, I'm down. But yeah, no, you're absolutely right. Like, there's a specific reason as to why certain things are, like, placed in certain areas. As I said, like, with the Hornet Ring behind, um, like, Artorias's grave. Um, it's semblance of, like, how much, uh, the girl, I've forgotten her name, was in, uh, was in love with Artorias. Um. And then, what else is there? Oh, what? Excuse me, sir? Oh, that's the lesson. <laughs> Man, I am so glad he can't reach me up here, right? Um, okay, no, it's just the thing. It's fine, it's not a lesson coming to kill you. I'm fine, I'm a strong, independent woman. I'm not scared of lesson. I am scared of lesson. Lesson is scary. I can't believe that guy was just chilling down there. Look at him. He's just walking away. What what a heckin' guy. What a chunk. What a heckin' chunk of Lonko. Alright, that guy has some sass on him. Look, he's just he's just standing down there. If you can make him out. Look, look, he's just walking away. He's just living his best life. He's just waiting there for me to return to kill me. Why are there lessons in this area? Corner Ring is the last semblance of Ciara. Correct. It all ties together. It proves Ciara and stood by Atorius' grave to the bitter end. It really does, and she's probably like really young when it happens. You don't even see like her body or anything either. Well, I mean not her body, but I mean like she doesn't become undead is my point. Lowly tarnished, playing like a lord, I command thee. <laughs> is is Kirsty not working today? Oh, well there you go. She must have the rest of the week off. I'm dying. Oh, don't make me wanna... Well, I mean, I do wanna play games. I always wanna play games with them. Oh, stop sliding. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, we're good. No more lessons. I mean, if they asked to play games though, we could totally do that. Uh, shut up stomach, I'm hungry. Excuse me, Sam. I, I just wanna go in here. As long as there's no lessons, we're good. Yeah, exactly. And that's exactly to what they say. And and I think, like, that's actually a really good way of putting it. Like, that is a perfect example of how the DLC um, complements the complements the existence of the, the original game. It's not just added on stuff for fun. It's actually like, here is greater context to why the hell a wolf is holding a sword weapon, despite we're okay with it completely. Give me more dogger weapons. Ugh. I just like message into my group chat, just like, hey, if everyone's home and want to play video games, I'm totally down. We're just sitting and talking about Dark Souls. That's basically the same as playing it, right? I really wanted to keep playing it, dude. I'm I'm still disappointed that I haven't that we weren't able to keep playing. Trey just up and left me. Because obviously <laughs> Obviously Tarkov is better. And, and I am a fool to think of otherwise, because that would be ridiculous. Why is this place filled with toxic? Yo, why are you so toxic, bro? Can you turn around, mate? Turn around and go spoosh on the wall. Turn around and go spoosh on the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spoosh. No, pull out the weapon. We're gonna fight some big thing that I'm probably gonna regret. Ooh! Ekin Bora. And it's the same level as me. Ooh, woo. Please stop. Don't hurt me, please. Ooh, woo. I'm pretty sure this falls under the type of ugh, vampire. Ow, can you not, mate? Ooh. 
You can come up here if you like. It, only if you're comfortable, man. I like how he like vanishes, but he really doesn't. Because I guess Geralt's just that much of a boss. Keep use your damn Gwen, Hannah. Gwen, <laughs> you know what I mean. Ooh, crap. Why Quen exists? Just to, so I can trade hits. <sighs> oh. I'll play DS with you, Han. I'll do a goddamn law through with you. Oh. Oh, don't tempt me, it's before Christmas. <laughs> Because I know we're going to have to start. Dude, in the new year, okay? In the new year, it's going to happen. I guess you could say that DS1 has more heart, soul, and emotion in the visuals, whereas DS2 takes a logical approach that's feasible, but you don't feel the story. Goddamn lore through with you. I'll talk with you uh, with your chat the whole time we go through an area about the lore significance. I love talking about Dark Souls and playing it. It'll happen, dude. This, see, the problem is, is that it's like, if this was like a week ago, I'd be like, fuck yes, let's fucking go. But now it's like, I've started The Witcher. It's three days till Christmas. I think it's three. Yeah, like three, three, well, I mean, I have like three more days I can stream. Is probably a better way of doing it before Christmas day. And then I have to, I'm going to be off for a week. And then hopefully I'll be, I'll somehow figure my life out. <laughs> um. Hmm. Something here. Where's that artifact Kira gave me? Somehow figure my life out. Um. And start figuring out what the hell games I'm gonna play in the new year. Okay. Your lessons can eat you. Do do do. We're walking. Back this way, I think. Yeah. Bad dude, I wish I could've known. I'm a little sporadic on Twitch, so unless I have a date and time, I'm not so good at catching content. Ah, oh, nah, it's fine. Man. Wait, what are you talking in relation to? What are you... Are you talking about, like, me saying if I had known a week earlier? No, no, no. I didn't know what I was doing a week earlier. What did I even do? I think I just did Ocarina of Time playthroughs because I just didn't know. And Skyrim. That's right. I kept playing Skyrim. I love Skyrim, but there was no need for me to play it for as long as I did on stream. It was just because I felt so lost on doing other things. And, like, you know, watching me go around catch Pokemon on in, in Diamond and Pearl is, in my opinion, not the most ent enticing content. Um... I wanna go over here. Um and like, you know, again, like we we planned to play some together with Trey on the Friday, and then Trey never messaged me, and I was like, okay, that's fine. And I was thinking, oh well, well, if he even messages me on the Saturday, you know, like I could probably give him a few hours of my time before he'll probably end up falling asleep. And then I'm going the wrong way. Um and then just nothing. You play what you want, huh? And that genuine nature is what makes you fun to hang out with. Oh, thanks, man. I mean, I'm just, just chilling. <laughs> but it, I think, but that's the thing, right? Like, again, like as you say, play, play what you want. Um, because I, I just, I don't know what else I would do. Um. And yeah, I don't know, like I just feel like for the, like the last month, like after I finished, like even playing Diamond and Pearl, I felt a little less, lack uh, like a little lackluster in my opinion. So I was really looking forward to playing that and then I had to wait an extra week for it to arrive and then, I don't know, like I just feel like I didn't give it justice, I guess.
<laughs> they drop black like flies. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Fucking try it, bitches. It's one more, isn't it? No, well, I guess I got him. What? No, 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 no. Sh now in shining diamond and thingy pearl, you mean? Yeah. It just felt a little. I don't know. I don't know. Um. Yeah. And, like, maybe I wasn't playing it at the best time of day. And I, like, and I knew that, but it was also, like, I didn't have many other times to stream. I mean, I can stream at night, but uh, I, like, I really wanted to sit down and like play a game for a decent amount of time. Oh wait, I could fight this thing. I was just gonna avoid this thing. I realized I could fight him. Come back here, bitch. way to cheat in here where you kind of like wibble wobble your way up that that cliff just there it's very um random like do it as well for me gen 4 was where things fell off so it's not surprising to hear the remakes also falls off for people no well i haven't played any of the other games though it's not like i was holding it to any sort of expectation i mean except for obviously sword and shield but sword and shield is very different that i can't really compare the two at all um, this was just me, just, I don't know, it's gotta be. This accident, yeah. I just haven't been the greatest, um, at, I feel like, going about just no. doing things. See? Cheating. Then, where do I go from here? I can't remember. How did I do this? I've just been- it's just been a bit difficult, I think. I just think I've just been a bit out of it recently. And it's been difficult because my brain's still kind of distracted on the idea that, you know, I should get a job and the like. And then, and then I spend the week streaming and I'm like, happy with streaming, but also like, what am I doing? Wasting more time away, despite it's the way I want to spend my time, you know? But that's not how capitalism works. Ugh, there we go. I told you there's a way to finesse your way up here. Aha. I don't remember how the proper way to get in here is. Oh, that's different then. Like, I still play my ga my games, Gen 1 to 3 games. So I hold a standard when I play. That's fun. I think that's why I was, like, excited about it. Also, the fact that there's, like, the National Dex. I didn't find that out until later, but... National Dex. Because I love 1, 2, 3, and 4. Those were, like, the, the beginning of, like, when I started paying attention to, to Pokemon, so... Ah, I guess this is the way I'm supposed to enter. <laughs> well, I guess I have a different technique. <laughs> is there a way to get up the tower? Yeah. 
yeah, you extinguish that light. Yeah, we do. It's late for me. I'm heading to bed. All good, dude. Hope you guys have a good rest of your night. You too, baby Deem. Thank you again for the raid. Hope you have a good night's sleep. Oh, no. Go back up. Go back up. You got this. Oh, my head's starting to hurt now. Probably a sign I should go and eat and drink a bottle of water. Um. Uh oh. Oh, shit. I remembered holding B does not make me slide down. This is not Dark Souls. Okay. Walking down the ladder. Ba, ba. Did I find the stuff I was looking for? Hold on. Should be a silver sword I found, surely. Not feline. It's a griffin sword. It's enhanced. So, will there be a stream part two tonight, Han? I think so. I want to do another. I want to do another Ocarina of Time render. <laughs> Just after last night, Cheshire, did you see the end of last night's stream? I can't remember. It was. <laughs> it was a thing. Oh my god. Sorry, I'm just looking for the stuff. Um. Here? There it is. Oh, okay. It's supposed to be right here. Did I not? It'd have been in here. Oh, well. It says walk up to the main floor landing and then it should be in the main chest in here. Right here. Or maybe, maybe it's out here. Um, there. Hmm. Oh, it's a ladder. Okay, never mind. What's up here? No, I passed out a three hour mark of the part two, of, of for the part twos. Well, I pass out if I'm watching. If you were playing DS, not obligating you, I'd stay awake. That's fair, man. There we go. Okay. Let me tell you a story. Um, so I spent, I, well, you, you probably saw, I spent like an hour and a half just looking for bombs, okay? I get to... What part was I up to? Okay, so I get to basically the very end. Um, uh, uh, so I'd already done Deku, right? I already full cleared Deku. But the logical slingshot was in GTG, okay? Because I left GTG for not, not the last thing, but the thing was, was that it took me a while to get to Bolero's to check what the song was because I was doing some other checks um so I was about two and a half hours in probably 
and I get to Death Mountain Cradle, which was a way of the hero location, and there's two items there. Mirror Shield and Opponent Song, okay? And I'm like, great, I have to probably do GTG. Um, so I go and do GTG, and there are two slingshots in there, a scale, <laughs> which was my logical access, as far as I know, to Zora's Domain, despite there was nothing there. Um, at least nothing inside the place. Um, and, right, and at this point, I'm looking for two items, okay? You need to understand, like, I'm, throughout this, like, current, like, the two to three hour mark, I was looking for two items, Ruto's Letter and Hammer, because in my brain, because I was doing a four medallion, right? I had my one free medallion, I had Deku's, and I just needed, I wanted to do Fire and Jabu, not Water or Spirit. But for some weird reason, the seed is leading me towards Spirit and just gave me Mirror Shield, and I'm like, the fuck? Anyway, because... Hi, uh, Lake Hylia had hovers to get logically across to, what's its names? Because um, Ravaged Village was Requiem, uh, was, was Requiem. So I couldn't, I couldn't even do the song to get to Requiem easily. I had to go across there normally, which was an experience. Um, I go out there and there's Zelda's lullaby. <sighs> And I'm like, I don't, and like, I do a few other checks and I'm like, I don't know where the hell this is supposed to go. Why am I encumbered? Um, ooh, better weapon. I can wield this? Ooh. Okay. Just random distraction. Sell, get rid of that. We don't need, why? Ooh. guard armor. Fucking you, God. Um, ooh, boots. Sorry, give me a second, I'm distracted. <laughs> Shockers. Surprise, surprise. Um, what's the weight of this? What's the weightiest weight? This one's seven. That's 12? Drop that. Probably sell it for a bunch, but we're not gonna worry. <gasps> I just walked off the cliff. Oh, training gear. I'm not. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Dr Gerudo training guns. Did you check DTG invisible chests? No, I don't think I did. No, no. Uh, so I get to the, I get to GTG. I get Zelda's lullaby. I do a few other checks. Um, and I check Zora's domain, and I'm just like, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Anyway, so I don't know if you probably remember. I half did Dodongo's cavern because I was like, I like Dodongo's. I have bombs. I'm just gonna go do a little bit of it. Anyway. So it gets to the around the near the end of stream, and I'm like, I'm just gonna finish Dodongos for fun, for fun, you know, you know, because I like Dodongos, okay? Um, the last chest in Dodongos was Ruto's letter, <laughs> which was my logical access to Jabu, which is one of my medallions. <sighs> and then it gets worse, okay? I've ended stream. Well, I haven't ended stream at this point. I we are like, okay, it's almost twelve. I'm gonna check spoiler log. Okay, you wanna know where Hammer was? You wanna know where Hammer was? Hammer was in Forest Temple, but it wasn't just Forest Temple. It was Forest Temple, Phantom Ganon's piece of heart, <laughs> or heart container. So not only did I have to do- and take note, Dodongos and Forest Temple are stones. I had to do basically all of Dodongos to get Rudo's letter, and I had to do all of Forest Temple in order to get fucking Hammer. Uh... I just- I think about it and I just- it's just like, ugh, pain. Because the annoying thing is, is that it's not like I even had any, like, Way of the Hero hints. You know, you'd think they'd give me Way of the Hero, Forest Temple, Way of the Hero, Dodongo's Cabin, to tell me that I needed those items in those places in order to proceed. But no, no, no. We don't do that. We're not that nice. It's like, fuck. Anyway. I think Zelda's lullaby poetically puts me to sleep. Behind Volvagia? No, Phantom Gannon. So I had to do Phantom Ganon, which was a stone, and to get Hammer to do, to do Fire Temple, to finish Fire Temple, because I, I dipped Fire Temple. I had the boss key. 
I just needed to like, I just needed to hover boots across and I could have just done it. Hmm. Uh. So, um, that was an adventure. Um, and then obviously once I had Boomerang and Rudo's letter, I was, I should have been able to go to, um, to do Jabu, and then that would have been my four medallions. But obviously, I had to go through a heck and trek in a mile to, to get through those areas. I have a funny question. How do you pronounce Vegeta? Vegeta, right? It's, that's how you're supposed to pronounce it. As far as I know, I'm looking the wrong way. I wanna go this way. This is just the way I say Volvagium. That's because I don't wanna say, how did someone say it? Volvagia, Volvagia, Volvagia. That sounds weird in my brain. It's too close to like, just saying badge and I'm not comfortable with that word. <laughs> Why I say Volvagium. Yeah, it's the DBZ character. Yeah, I know, I know who it is. I'm saying they pronounce it as Vegeta, right? There is a quest around here. Honey of the Goose. That sounds really gross. Um where you go into a place, I'm pretty sure it's like across the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. And there's like a it's like a whole quest for, for vampires. That's a whole thing. Anyway, teleporting. Um I can't be bothered doing that quest now. Fuh. Pun. Ooh, more quests. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, well, <laughs> sounds like Vegeta. Exactly. But Vegeta is also a veggie stock. The product is pronounced Vegeta. Vegeta. Ve Vegeta. Vegeta. Vegeta? Vegeta. The Vegeta, Vegeta. Okay, okay, I got what you're saying. Despite, I feel like I lost a brain cell in the process. I do understand what you mean. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, people pronounce things their way the way they want. I think I actually heard in like the Zelda speedrun the other day someone say Volvagia, and I was like, well, mm -hmm. sorry, Volvagia, and I was like, not okay with that. I'm sticking with Volvagia. Google Vegeta vegetable stock. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I've seen this at the shops. I think we have this here. Yeah, it says it's at Woolworths. So it's supposed to be more the gator. I mean, that does make sense. I mean, pe again, people can pronounce things the way they want. Did I just accidentally press a button? No, no, I think we... That button doesn't do anything. That button still works. Okay. No, we don't question the buttons. I don't know what that button's doing there. So the planet was so the planet was named after Veggie Stock Soup Base. Oh, okay, I get it. Need something shot. What?
do you have on offer? Is that a coin? Bullshit. Okay. That's fine, man. I'll buy something off you. That's out of the goodness of my heart. Um... Uh, level 6, 26, 23, level... <sighs> this one's level 11. It's probably not as good though. I will die some ingots from you? Sure. How much gold does he have now? Oh, there it is. Okay, at the top. Alright, sell him the boots. No, you know what? The boots are very light. I'm better off selling the armor. Armor always weighs the most. Don't ask me why. I don't know. Oh god, that was very expensive. I don't care. Shh. Do you have any dark plates? No, I guess not. Can you give me a second? God, I hate this album. I remember I used to be so fickle when I play first played this because I was like, this armor does not, not a fan. There we go. I can sell that stuff and then repair everything. I just realized I should have just repaired stuff to give him more money, but I don't care. I think I've robbed him enough, really. There we go. Take my money. So long. Bye, bye man. I'm feeling so much more stocked. I'm just feeling ready. Fuck shit up. I'm gonna go make food. Hopefully you'll be here when I return. I should go make food. But if not, thanks for the stream. See you tonight. Hell yeah, Cheshire. I'm gonna go make food. I'm gonna I'm gonna call I'm gonna call that my call that I need to go get lunch because I'm hungry. Um <laughs> But have a good make a good dinner. It counts. Me Plaza is so homey. It really is. It's so nice. Okay. I will also return soon from fooding.
Little did you know I was here the entire time. Ha <laughs> ha um. I jest, I jest. Well, I was there for the last three minutes of stream. I've just been eating. I expect pictures. <laughs> I looking to forward should go in there too. Look, looking, <laughs> looking forward. My God, I, I can ledge. Sounds about right for you. What? But, oh, just lurking while eating. Mm -hmm. After. What did you eat for lunch? Who said I ate lunch? Damn it, man. Sure. Okay, we'll do. Yes. I'm gonna see what the place looks like. No, I don't. Sorry. I mean, actually, I do recommend eating lunch, but you're alive. I just like lunch. If lunch could be my main meal of the day, I'd do it in a heartbeat. But Adar is not around during the time, so. Hopefully. Omni, om, omnicron. But hopefully. Lunch is overrated. Oh. How could you say that about lunch? Sorry, again, I'm talking in Discord, so my brain's just thinking aloud. All right, you meant hand. Oh, oh, heck. I'm amazed I'm not getting jam on the inside of my arm because I'm like leaning over my piece of bread as I'm like typing. It's like, this could go down badly. I say that, it just means I get jar a jam, jar in my home. So you like jam, Dan? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just wondering. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I said it more for the joke than a question, but the question is still valid. What are you doing later? Making dinner? Why, well, what's up? I've just popped out of nowhere. I'm picking up a dyer, grabbing chips, and making salad. Talk about at night while streaming, if nothing else. I'm driving again. Oh no. Where are you going? Stop. <laughs> oh dear. What are you planning, Ruby? Should I jump into a Discord for you to tell me the whole story? <laughs> I'm just gonna jump into stream time. <laughs> just, you know, if she joins, she joins. Wanna hang out? I do like hanging out, but my, um, I need to, I, I need to go reset my Mikey. Um, I need to go get a new Mikey car, get an adult. Whoa. Hello. <laughs> Hello. So what you doing in that car of yours? I'm going to Ararat, and remember how last time I went to Ara, I ended up going to Wendery, and then I ended up in Melbourne? Yeah. <laughs> like, I was like, I should message Hannah. 
<laughs> Again, that is not necessary. Again, I I gotta make dinner, but. Ah, oh, true. Big plans. Yeah, big. Plans. <laughs> you could join us for dinner. Make more salad. <laughs> I'll bring dessert. Yeah, would love that. I like the desserts I like and the desserts that you like are different. Oh, I was just gonna say, like, there's a Domino's up the road. Just go up and get, like, more of the chocolate lava cakes. Those are good, but I would do, like, a fruit platter or something, because that's what I've been really into lately. We, on a semi-regular basis, just have chocolate with, uh, like, melted chocolate on strawberries. Hey, that's good. That's good stuff. Yeah. Healthy but unhealthy, it's great. It cancels out. It's zero calories. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's how it works. <laughs> You're an adult now? Yeah, no, I need a proper Mikey card because I'm not getting money from the government. Then it said it basically cancelled immediately, but it's like, I still have my card until, I don't know, until like the, at least the end of December, it's so... Just don't tap on. No, that's illegal. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's all good, bro. Just don't tap on. It's all good. Or if I meet you in the middle of Melbourne, I'll just go get it replaced then. The only problem is, is that I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Who do I go to? I don't know. I have to like Google it. That's why oh, I was just gonna wait. Oh, you can go to like 7-Eleven and stuff like that. Like most convenience stores just have like a Mikey top up or a Mikey, like yeah, buy Mikey. That's but that's a top up, not I need to change and have a new card. No, no, like you can buy new cards from them. Really? Yeah. It's only illegal if you sure. get caught. No. This is a very Google Googleable question. You could Google this. Like, yes, I, I know. But I was just gonna wait because Adara was like, "We'll do it Christmas Eve," <laughs> and I was like, "Okay." <laughs> Because we're gonna Have we're gonna take the train to a church, so out? buy Mikey at Seven Eleven. We have like I don't know if we have a Seven Eleven, but we have like some sort of gas station like just up the street. So I got one was at a kiosk in Spencer Street, sta in Spencer Street Station. Well, I was thinking that's what I was thinking. Like if yeah. I if I tapped on because there's still money on the card, it should still technically work. Just go down. Yeah. And replace and replace it then, you know. I mean, it would work wherever I go in Flinders. It should somewhere. Not I asked somebody. Please never call a servo a gas station again. We are not Americans. I'm sorry, a petrol station. I don't care. It's whatever the first thing comes out of my mouth. Yes, as long as it's not negative, you, you can tap on. Petrol until it's actually out of thing, I think. Well, I mean, the point is, is that they catch you and they're like scary. <laughs> you're right. You're right. You know, when I was on the way back um, from after after I said goodbye to you, right? I was trying to figure out yeah. what tram to get on to get back home, yeah. and um. This it was really funny to me. It was just random. Like there was one of like the 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 tram people kind of like standing at the front, and you know I was kind of like looking around like really confused, like hopefully I'm fine sort of thing. And he came up, kind of like you're right, and I'm like yeah I think I am. But the thing that made it weird was this guy was wearing a cowboy hat. Like it was almost like he was trying to be cool, and I was so intimidated by the cowboy hat. Intimidate Hannah, wear a hat. Yep, just do it. It's very intimidating. I would have just been like, no, I'm not alright, are you? Well, <laughs> I would love that. <laughs> are you? Heckin' Uno <laughs> reverse card. It's the card of me? Yeah. As long as you're it's not fine. taking a train, you don't have to tap off. That's true. Okay. Yeah. I. To, when I like lived in Melbourne for that little bit, I used to tap on and off, and then wondered why I kept like running out of money on my Mikey. It's because I was paying for everything twice. Mm -hmm. The the weird thing to me is that, like, I swear I remember at some point you were supposed to tap on and off, and then now it's like you don't tap on or you only tap on once. And I'm like, 
I remember tapping on and off at some point. And Adara's like, no, no, it's always been this way. And I'm like, huh? Yeah, I just don't get it. I don't understand Mikey. I understand the concept, but in practice, I'm useless. I'll just stay in the free tram zone and then walk everywhere else. That's the way to do it. I mean, that's the way I would do it if I was able to, but I can't, so... In saying yeah, well, that, I do need to get, go to EB games. Um, I was planning on doing that tomorrow, though, so... Yeah, that's fair enough. You could go to the EB games in Ararat, and we could hang out. <laughs> there's an EB games in Ararat? Yeah, there's like a little one. Really a beauty one. Yeah, I probably want the slightly bigger one than that. I don't know, I, I just, it's just an offer, you know, like, like you don't have to. <laughs> you don't have to go all the way to Ararat. I mean, I don't even know how I would get to Ararat, like, I don't think there's even a train in that area, like. No, it's, it's, like, there's a bus. Yeah, there's no way I'm getting on a bus. <laughs> bus from, like, Melbourne to Horsham is, like, six and a half hours, and it's like, how? Yeah. How does it take that long when it's only like four hours driving? It's yeah, it's it's bad. That's why I would never take it. <laughs> well, okay, I'll pick you up and then we can go to our app. <laughs> <laughs> That's very counterintuitive. You know, you know you don't have to come all the way in here as well. You know, like our rat's like what, an hour and a half drive? Just just go there and back. Nice and short, no issues. <laughs> Look, that'll probably end up being the plan, but I was like, last time I went to Ararat for shopping, I ended up hanging out with Hannah in Melbourne. Admittedly, though, you were also going to Ballarat that time. I didn't intend to, but yeah, I did end up going to Wendery. So, you know... Gotta... Oh god. <laughs> it's a good time. Do... Wait, does Melbourne have a pet store? Because I need to go to a pet store. Um... I think there's a pet store in Horsham already. Um, I think you're kind of clutching at straws a little bit. <laughs> is that is that just one pet store in in Melbourne? Just just to? one, just one. You know what? I've never seen one, so probably not. <laughs> <laughs> no pet stores in Melbourne. Yeah, absolutely none. That's fine. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. Oh, look, it, I mean, it's fine. I want, like, what I want doesn't matter, obviously. Yeah. Tell Ruby she is oh, well. broken, please. Ruby, you are broken, but I we still love you. Broken. Ain't nothing wrong with me, I'm great. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with those. <laughs> like, I, I'm not broken, I'm doing a good job. You are. I'm an adult. Yeah. And I'm doing adult things. Yeah, you are. Even if, I, even if I don't do them the right way, or I don't do the correct adult things, I'm doing them. I don't do the correct adult things, my god. Don't worry, yeah, man. Yeah, it's good. Like, it's, it's just good. Used to tap off if you went through different zones or something, wasn't it? Well, I think no. It's usually you tap on um, and you're active for an hour. So, um, yeah, it's an hour. So if you have like going through the center and stuff, and it's been almost an hour since you've been on the tram, then you need to tap back on again. Yeah, but like if you're going through the center, is a free tram zone anyway. So, you only have to tap on after you exit the free tram zone. Yeah. I do like the free tram zone. It's a good area to be. Me too. I just wish it extended a little further. <laughs> you know, just, you know, so it's free for me. No, yeah, other reason. Just call, just call the mayor and be like, hey bro, can you make the free tram zone? Like bigger, yeah. And he will hook me up, bro. Yes, yes, I can make the free tram zone bigger. Amazing. Okay, good. I didn't realize it was that easy. Ghouls dug up the graves. Yeah, you just you don't even need to call him. You could just send a text. Ghouls nor dog. 
things to do. Oh, things. oh, okay. Well, even better. I'm glad. I don't like phone calls, so. Who is the mayor of Melbourne anyway? Do, 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 like, I have no I idea. I know that we have one. I just don't know who it is. Well, it's not even like there's a mayor, but isn't there like like the actual like like a mayor is just like the honorary position, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, no, like we've got a whole parlor. But surely the mayor can do better. Because I'm pretty sure there's like the actual person who's like in politics. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know who that is though. So I'm just gonna say the mayor. Okay. It's just a horse. Just horse, no other. Yeah. I don't like driving to Ararat. Recently. It's a sheep. Smell of cadaver. I'm talking when it first girl. came out, there was definitely a tap on and off system back then. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, that's probably what I'm referring to then. The current mayor is Sally Cap. It's a woman? Okay. Good. Yeah. I'm glad. I wouldn't be surprised. Why would they leave Melbourne in the hands of a man? <laughs> You, you're absolutely right. <laughs> Why would they live it in the hands of a man? Was I supposed to be following tracks? Hold the phone. Okay, yeah. Amazing. Well, we have a male so, premiere though. Yes, yes. Yeah. Cool. That's the one I do know. It's all the other wanky janky names I don't know. <laughs> Well, just, ig like just ignored that word I just said. <laughs> oh, like Parliament of Melbourne that governs what happens in the rest of Victoria, but like they're not important. Yeah. Creature can use tools, means it's sapient, or just plain clever. Ugh. I'm hungry. You should eat. The only thing I have in my car to eat is alcohol. That's valid. Thank you for the host call, it's much appreciated. Sorry. <laughs> I'm driving though. In a magic circle. Monsters clearly using them. Um strength from the That's a good point. I had the <laughs> That was the part that was makes it on yeah. on the thing. Um Confidence Well there's Mac there's Mac is in our route, so need to take Yeah, there is. There's also Mac is in stall. I could go there. But then again, if I'm getting Mac as I might this will get something healthy, so I like would go to like a bakery or the sushi that place and stole. Now to lay low in the cemetery. It's likely to crawl out after dark. I had a little moment where I was like, do I have a mask in my car? Yeah. <laughs> Am I gonna be able to leave my car <laughs> when I get to Ara? Do you know if the laws have changed at all? Actually, I I haven't really been following them. I don't really follow them because I don't watch the news. I'm feeling like they haven't changed but i feel like they will soon yeah so it's you don't need a, you don't need a mask outdoors and but you do need one indoors especially yeah. if it's a larger shopping complex yeah that's basically like i basically just follow the uh, guideline that if it's indoor if it's indoors mask on if you're outdoors you should be mostly fine but i still keep it on for yeah. the most part if it's like, super crowded i'm always like oh, mask on yeah, yeah. But also, I, I'm too forgetful to just leave a mask on. I'm like, oh, something is attached to my face. Take it off. And then I'm like, Ruby, put your mask on. And then I'm like, oh, something is on my face. Take it off. <laughs> Thief. Skulls, he's it's a good system, you know? There she is. Right on cue. How's the Hannah? Hannah is going well. She's vibing. I mean, you Hannah's know. always vibing. Pull the bar spot. Vibe. I've been going pretty well the last day. It really is just, I feel like personally, like, I feel like I just have like days where I'm like, man, I feel great. And then, and then I just like, and then I'll get like to the weekend or like halfway through the week, I get to like Thursday and I'm just, I'm just go back downhill again. But that won't happen this time because it's Christmas and I get to see the dog and I'm so excited. I love that. You'll have to like pop a bunch of pics of Rusty in the Discord. I will. I'll be like, guys, remember this boy? I miss him too. 
just take enough pictures to last until like Easter. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Right. yeah. But I just, I just like, I want to hold him, you know? You can hold me instead. You're not anywhere close, you're, you know, the dog's closer to me, right? And I'm talking about like small, <laughs> fluffy animals. Yeah, okay. I don't sure do Christmas, thing. I do TV! <laughs> Uh, that is a hell of a sentence. TV is good for you. Uh, um, yes. <laughs> okay. It's only because all the men are okay. sick of Melbourne's crap and have left. Yes. Sure, man, that's it. Hannah have- uh, Hannah. Melbourne has no crap to give, though. That's rich. true. I gay. I made it back in time. Hey, guys. Welcome back, Kachesia. What'd you eat? Tell me those sweet lunch facts. Uh, dinner dinner facts. Do you say lunch or dinner? And also, do you say dinner or tea? I, I always interchangeably use dinner and tea. Unless I'm specifying that we're having tea. Like, like, drinkable tea. I, mm. I always say tea, like, for the uh, evening uh. meal. And then lunch is like if you're having a midday meal and it's cold, it's lunch. But if you're having a midday meal and it's hot, it's dinner. Yeah. That's why like, I put it. Lunch, lunch would be a sandwich, but dinner would be a bowl of soup. I mean, it's depending also, like, I mean, like... Hmm, I don't know. I, I like I think it's like it also depends who's talking to me. Like if dad said, Dad, yeah. what do you want for tea? I'd be like, yeah. Oh, I don't know what I want for tea, you know, like so I reflect what yeah. he's saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saying tea is very much like a regional thing. Like it's very much a really? Wimra portion kind of country thing. I had no idea. There's no, not yeah. many people from Melbourne. If you were like, hey, what do you want for tea? And they'd be like, I, I don't want tea. I'm not thirsty. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm all good. English breakfast? I prefer coffee. <laughs> breakfast? No. Tea. <laughs> Say what I want. That's fair, man. You do that. Might be 9 p.m., but this is breakfast. I made... It's 9 p.m., but it's breakfast, okay. I made chicken, cheese, hummus sandwiches, and a bowl of yogurt with chia seeds and cashews. Man, sound like, sound like a good, healthy person. That sounds amazing, like actually. I really feel like chicken sandwiches recently, but obviously it's almost yeah. Christmas. So, what I, so at the moment, Ruby, I'm trying to like make sure there's no excess food in the house. So it's getting to the point where in my yeah, brain, I'm like, we're getting down to dregs. But like Adara's out tomorrow night, so I'm probably just gonna eat like nachos. It's not it's just it's not like healthy full meals. Like I like trying to make sure we have like at least twice a week have like a proper like sal uh, like vegetables, um, potato and a meat of some sort. But now it's just like let's have salad for dinner because we have way too much uh lettuce. Yeah. And I don't want the lettuce to go off. So the noted Oh, monster. Let's talk rewards. Mm. Stuck up about meals? <laughs> you gotta, like, get her from Christmas. And, you know, just... just be no food. Left. My god. Oh. Like, you'll just... just like, get her. I'm on it. Her. Other folk... <laughs> oh, Sorry, you're cu cutting out a little bit, Ruby. <laughs> The fridge is not gonna be empty. No. Lettuce is good, but you need like some sort of protein. Oh yeah, no, I have ham. And then we're gonna get some chips, cause carbs, bro. And then we also have savoys and cheese, because Adar and I are people of culture. I <laughs> know. It's so sad. It's so no. It's delicious. I actually, really like Dara and I are all about that like salad with with savoys and stuff like that. Just a cute little meal. It's very colorful too because it's like got the yellow and orange and red for Dara because tomatoes. And... A woman came through here, barefoot. <laughs> Where 
Where am I going? This opposite way. A piece of fabric. I'm not not Possibly talking. It's just That's my service is down, and I don't want to glitch on you. That is that is fair. Dress. Somebody chasing. I'm I'm trying to figure out yeah. where I'm going in this, in this video game. Whoa, this way. Uh, video game. If you say tea, I think evening tea time, like having dessert and coffee and tea. Okay. Supper. No. Supper is like after dinner. That's like afternoon yeah. tea time. I usually say afternoon tea. Yeah. Couldn't outrun her pursuer. No, supper is after, after tea. Strange. Yes. Left the knife behind. And I'm saying, and I'm saying, like if, like, handy. drag the body through here. Like dessert and tea in like the afternoons, like early afternoon, uh, evening or something. I would call that afternoon tea. As long as there's still a dinner yes. part afterwards. See, I don't say afternoon tea. I grew up on a Body farm, so I call it smoko. Here. Shallow grave. <laughs> must have That's right. Time. Something's sticking out. A letter. A scorned lover killed the woman, seems to me. A night raid. Alderman probably knew the girl. Murder. 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 Meow. Okay. Anyway, moving on. Ow! Stop shooting moving me. Moving on. Moving on. We don't need to talk about that embarrassing display of noises. I've heard so much worse from you, though. Yeah. Come on. You really have. The best <laughs> and the worst. That still doesn't deflect back at him. Whatever. Um. So Victorian. Anyway, I'm gonna go do some stuff. See ya. See a broken person. Hey, that's Ruby, the broken person. Get it right. Okay, Ruby, you're perfect. I just picked up a random item. And then you like disconnect and I'm like, what do I, what did I say? I'm sorry. Ooh, that sells for a lot, poggers. Yeah, no, that's that's interesting. I actually didn't know that because I feel like I, like I w don't know why I use tea and dinner interchangeably. Like for all I know, maybe it's because like I was raised like my first eight years of my life. It was in the in the city, so I said dinner a lot of the time, and then said kind of migrated half over to saying tea. Greetings, Zula and Bakai. Did you know them? They must have lived in this village. Good God, he knows? Tis witchery. I found the girl's grave and a letter. It's clear she rejected Bakai because she loved another. Zula and Anto, aye. We thought they'd fled north to seek happiness there. Bakai departed round the same time. So that's to mean our Zula's the wraith. Can't be. Such a good lass. And so pretty. Any idea where they used to meet? Ooh, well, can't say for sure. Not at all. No way I can hope to lift this curse. Gotta drive the wraith away. Stand a chance if I can bind it to one spot for a while. Mar oh my god, FJ, you had to clip that. Alright. Okay, I'm actually going now before Hannah kills me. Haha. <laughs> Lol. I wouldn't kill you, FJ. I haven't yet, so I won't, Will. I won't at all. I could kill you. I don't think you should murder people. I think that's mean. I think it's only mean if they don't deserve it. Yeah, exactly. FJ doesn't yeah. deserve it. Not yet. Mm, okay. Not yet. Not yet. 
when he says something like truly horrific and homophobic, then we kill him. Yeah, not, okay. not saying he would, but that's just an in instance of of what could happen. Yeah. 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 All right, Bernie. <laughs> Sorry, slightly out of context. Um, Raythi Roo. Yo, what? Oh, I said Raythi Roo, not Ruby Roo. Sorry. Okay. It's fine. I'm just confused because I'm not currently reading the stream chat. Yeah, no, I'm I'm fighting stuff, so. Oh, okay. Um. It's fine. Just thought you said that killing was bad. Killing is bad. You shouldn't kill. Killing is horrible and should not be tolerated. You say as I hear you, like, furiously smashing buttons. <laughs> yeah! Good, good. I'm glad you got the, the nuance. <laughs> Don't recover health, I sweat. Erden. I heard him in the night. Anyway, so I'm gonna get my dad a Donkey Kong t-shirt. I've decided, I figured out. So, I love that, why? Um, because my dad likes Donkey Kong. Oh. He also likes you. Why don't you get him a t-shirt with your face on it? <laughs> Not this year, maybe next year. <laughs> okay. I, um, I would, I'd have to get it printed. Unless I, like, I don't know, just, I don't even have, like, a, uh, like, a, like, I don't even have, like, a printer to, like, print out my face and, like, slop it on a t-shirt and just hand it to him. Um. Printers aren't, like, printers aren't pricey anymore, though. They used to be, like, $200 for a printer, and now it's, like, mm, 40 bucks. I mean, it depends what you go for, but yeah, yeah, you're right. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm always right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, no, Adar and I, I don't think we're... Well, we're gonna get one eventually, I'm sure, but... Yeah, one day. Greetings. Everything's, like, digital now, though. Like, nothing is analog. There's rarely a time where you'd need to print anything out. That is very true, but there's sometimes when my where Adar is just like, I wish I could print this out, and it's like, I don't blame you. Like... Just having that like visual on a piece of paper compared to on a yeah. on like a screen and you're like trying to like lean in and look at it like what's here? Um yeah. <laughs> Banjo Kazooie? Oh my god, yes, okay. I always keep forgetting this. There is a website called Fan Gamer and it has a bunch of like really cool t-shirts. So the problem is again, it's like American, so whatever the price is, it's like double because Australian money. Yeah. Um and then um and then I have to wait for for postage, so if, yeah, if I was going to do it, I should have done that like three months ago. Especially with COVID, to sketch. The cutoff was um, the 10th to order anything from America if you wanted it before Christmas. It was oh, the okay. 10th. Yeah. Like, um, Australia Post put that out on their website. Like, hey, by the way, if you order anything, we can't get it to you before Christmas if you ordered it after the 10th. Yeah. But then I think they've like actually got a fair few stuff through. Um, cause I ordered stuff like a week ago and it showed up like it's, it's here. So maybe yeah. it wasn't, it wasn't that bad. Hmm. Ah, stock monster sounds. Royalty free sounds are the best. I do like royalty-free things. That means you don't have to pay for it, yeah? Or you won't yeah. get sued for using it? Yeah, well, so... Yeah, so there's, like, a website where you can get a bunch of, like, stock sounds. So if you might hear, like, a monkey in one game, and then a monkey in another might be using the exact same stock sounds, but they, like... Yeah. They pay for them, but it's, like, probably, like... Like, they might have a premium subscription to that website, so... Uh, so it's like, yeah, you can yeah. use these freely in your games and whatever revenue you get. Um, yeah, same with I suppose. The, the funny thing is, though, at least with, like, streaming, um, there's, like, a kind of, like, 
you're playing video games with music in it, so it's kind of like anything related to the game itself, usually, usually it depends on the type of music you're listening to, but most games, like, the music is not going to get, like, flagged for any sort of copyright. Um, which is good, because that means people like me, we can just be like, I'm gonna heck and chuck on the Mario soundtrack, um, whenever I want. Looking for a hunt. I, I do like the Mario yep. soundtrack. It is good. Try it. I must. Yeah, saying it bad, it bad while slicing and dicing entities. Gaping dragon, Godzilla, Witcher, does any fantasy monsters not use that sound? That's a good point. Uh, ask. Okay. <clears throat> oh, ask the neighbors about ha Hannah. Oh my god, it's the quest about me. I don't really care. Greetings. Hi. I love that. She, she's. If I. Hannah. Thank I fought. Wanted. No. The fuck? Why? There. Sorry if I'm skipping through this. I, I'm just enjoying the the conversation and not having to worry about the what the hell the quest line saying. Go find somebody, kill something. That's usually typically how it goes. But yeah, I should get Dad a Banjo Kazooie T-shirt at some point. Actually, I really want to get him the, the vinyl, because he got a vinyl player, right? And he was like, don't buy me more vinyls, but if I gave him a vinyl with heckin' Banjo-Kazooie music on it, wouldn't that be fantastic? Because that's that actually on, awesome. that's on the website. That would be awesome. I know! And I just feel like it'd be so awesome if I just came home and he's just like, sitting, like, it's like, you know, like a Friday afternoon, he usually has off, and he's just like, <laughs> listening to, um... He's just like vibing to uh, like click clock wood. <laughs> I just imagine you like giving it to him on Christmas morning and then all through like the Christmas day, all you can hear is banjo and kazooie music. <laughs> I would love nothing like, more. I would sit down for dinner and it's like, amen. And then it's just the banjo and kazooie <laughs> soundtrack <laughs> after you like dead break. It's it's just like <laughs> and you're like yes, this is what we're here for. Why yeah, that? Exactly. <laughs> I yeah, honestly, I would love nothing more. It's like I feel like like Banjo Kazooie is such like a momentous to my childhood, and just like I, in in some weird way, like I just feel like. You know, it's kind of like symbolism of my family almost, because it's the way I grew up and just people. What are you doing here? I'm playing the, the game together. Alone. I just love it. I came to tell you. You needn't look for Hannah. She'd have returned long past were she alive. I'll pay you twice Neilan's pledge. Just tell the man his Hannah's dead. Don't you wanna know what happened to her? I've no illusions, Witcher. In Velen, you're gone. You know what I wanna talk about I'm back. Titties. I want to talk about the facts that I, and I know many people also do this, cannot send a text message or an email without a smiley face at the end. And if someone <laughs> sends me a message and it doesn't have some sort of like lol, haha, -ha, or a smiley face, I assume that they hate me. And I assume that they're mad. Deep. Like, honestly. <laughs> Unless it's like my mum. I don't send like emojis or smiley faces or anything this to my mum. But like if it's like someone that I don't know that well, like my boss, I have to add a smiley face emoji at the end to show that like I don't hate her. <laughs> okay, that's you know what? That's that's fair. Like, like I have a bad habit of doing XD at the end of sentences now. It's like one of those things where it's like, yes, yeah. I'm one of those people now. But it's also just like, I'd rather make what I say sound like either a joke, even if it's self-deprecating. Um, yeah. I'd rather make it sound like a joke and that it's lighthearted rather than them possibly thinking, 
it's a little tree. too serious or something. There. I don't know. Maybe find something else on the ground. Exactly. It has to be friendly. If it, it's not, then I'm like, oh my god. That's it. I'm dead. I just, I just ruined this entire person's life and day because, like, I just messaged them, ooh woo, I love you, and then it was just the end of the world. <laughs> <clears throat> no. It's like if my manager, um, like messaged me like, "Hey, can you work a shift today?" Instead uh, of just replying like, lost, "Yes," it hasn't bathed in a while. It, I have to say, "Yep, sure thing." Smiley face. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm like, I'm a bad person. <laughs> yeah, for something like sure thing, it'd be like, yeah, absolutely. Like, I have to make sure I answer in certain ways, just so it's yeah. not. You know, like, sometimes you say some things and it feels like it's with, like, a hint of, like, uncertainty. It's just like, no, 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 yeah. I gotta make this, make sure that I, I'm clear about what I'm saying or something. Like, I'm just scared of sounding malicious at yeah. any point. Man's yeah. clothes. Shredded, but no sign of blood. So much Even stress involved with off, communicating. In the woods. I know, right? This person, this is coming from the communications. The person with probably, a yeah, I have a communications bachelor, I'm pretty sure that's... I have a Bachelor in Communications. I am terrified like of all forms quarters. of communication. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! Um, keep your enemies close. And keep your fears closer, because everyone hates you. <laughs> no one hates you. I know, but it's, you know, but like, you don't know. <laughs> yeah, you do. No, you don't. No. You don't interact with enough people for anyone to hate you. Yeah, that's not true. Some people hate me. Who? Uh, well, I mean... <laughs> I don't... Look, I'm not gonna name names. You're just sounding like an owl here, but who? <laughs> I'm just saying they don't like me necessarily. Just, just they don't... You know, they may not want to spend time with me, and that's fine. You can spend time with me. Okay. Well, that's what matters. Yeah. Exactly. Why that, Hannah? Let me tell you. Her bird noises woke me up, my baby, and he puked all over the crib. Terrible person. <laughs> what, what is fuck? that sentence? <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. Maybe I should try it, but I want to be professional. Just XD at the end. Okay, hold on. It's okay. Took me a long time Should to stop using my own XD. A plant? Are you gonna take care of it? No, I'm not good at that. But I meant like as a Christmas gift. To who? I don't know yet. <clears throat> um. Then I want to say no. Unless it's a really cute I, plant. I, well, I just drove past a nursery and I, like I was thinking like, oh, I could buy a plant. You 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 could. <laughs> Ain't nobody stopping me from buying a plant. A singular plant, a plant of plantiness. Some guy was driving along with like branches on the back of his trailer and he dropped a branch right into the middle of the road. That's bad. It was stressful because it was right in front of my car. Oh, are you okay? I'm fine. I did some driving. That's, that's good. It's what my dad's always like, yeah. remember defensive driving. And it's just like, okay, dad, I understand. <laughs> Tricky, Tricky maneuvers. But even just like slow down, move to the side, you know, like stuff like that. I hope the yeah. person gets off their car and like picks hey, it yeah, up or something. Like, pulled up, he, pulled, he pulled off to the side of the road. Okay, that's good. <laughs> What's going on? On bam bam 
I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hit shit, uh, hit shit. Um, sorry, I'm just dropping things. Um, didn't mean to slap you so hard in the face with nostalgia. Not till I find out what's going on there. I love him. Always have. Got extra bad noise this time. Even after I learned his secret. You. You knew. Did you know I shot myself in here to wait out me change? I knew. And I didn't mind. But you chose Hannah. I wanted her to see. Nah. You. I wanted her to feel. Not about. Not at this. Understand. Time. We could be together. You brought her here. Oh, I'm going to Ararat so I could get another one of those was smoothies. the reason I had the taste of blood in me mouth come You want another taste of... No, I can't do the joke. <laughs> no, don't, don't do the joke. That's a bad joke. Okay. I don't vibe with that. And I'll kill it. Yeah, kill her. This is between the two of you. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Wait, no. Cross my path again, and I will kill you. Defensive drag driving oh. is important. Defensive tech is keeping a two-second uh, following distance. Uh, I avoided a terrible draft you. once, all because I maintained following distance. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, what? What about like instead of defensive driving, we just do offensive driving? Told you I'd kill you. I know as well what you said. I feel like that would be better. If you want death, find some reins and a tree with a strong limb. Wouldn't work. Couldn't do it. Always been a coward. Do it. Please. I just feel sorry for this guy. Alright, give me your head. I'm getting money. Wild at heart. Wild and wild. Shout Hallama. You what? Nothing. Cake. Okay. Okay. She suppress she suggests sub she Okay. Suspects, that's what I wanted to say. Suspects nothing. Yeah, you're right. I don't, because there's nothing about you that is suspicious. Yes, I am purely a non-suspicious person. But, like, even the things that I could be suspicious about, like, they're not even worth being suspicious about. Why? Like, the most malicious thing you could do is joke about doing something bad. You mean I wouldn't actually do it? Exactly. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> Most of the time, I'm not wrong. And the rest of the time, I'm usually right. And then sometimes, you're no. just wrong. <laughs> no? Okay. Alright, I'm sorry. How dare I even suggest it? Yeah. And they all fall down. Poor doggo man, all doges go to heaven, even dogemen. That's good to know. Good, good to know, just in case you feel like killing a dog. No, no, no. We're talking about, like, lycanthrampy, thrompy, thr ly lycanthropes. Werewolves. Oh. Yeah. I couldn't re remember the word werewolf, so I just struggled at the more difficult altercation. Alteration. I should stop speaking at all. No, it's fine. Uh huh. Okay. You've said worse things. Like, it just grabs out my my quote book or something. True. I've definitely we, said worse things. I can never when think. You, when, we, when we hang out in January, you bring that with you so we can pop in some more quotes. Yeah, I know. I have a shit ton on my phone that I haven't written in. Yeah. <sighs> the sad thing is, is that I have someone my- I think I have someone my old phone as well. But my old phone, I can't like turn it on and look at it. Oh, that sucks. 
I don't know, I've been trying to. I, I, I think I'll give it to my dad and be like, Dad, I need you to resurrect this just briefly so I can get information off it. <laughs> he'll be like, ah, oh, yes, important details, and you'll be like, no. Just quotes. And just old, quotes. and old, like, me uh, wow, uh, what are they called? Uh, dreams that I used to have, because I used to write down my dreams in there. Oh, uh, yeah. I had a really weird dream last night. Yeah. I dreamt that, um, I, firstly, I cut my hair again. Oh. But, like, way shorter than usual and I use like clippers this time instead of scissors. Hey, very nice. And when I woke up, like I was like, oh my god, my hair's gone and I like touched my head and it was still there and I was like, magic? <laughs> <laughs> wow. And the other part of my dream was I was trying to get out of my house to walk my dog. I don't own a dog. Yeah. But there was like people that I knew from school hanging around my front gate talking to my chooks and i had to like macgyver my way out of my own house to avoid talking to them wow and then i ended up like talking to them i didn't want to and i was so uncomfortable and i was like trying to get through and like go walk my dog and then like one of the girls was like are you gay and i was like uh look it's uh yeah She's like, are you gay? And I was like, what do you want? How do you want me to answer that? Like, <laughs> like, why are you asking? It's like, she's just suddenly really interested and you're just like, oh, I don't know. And do you remember Brock from school? Brock yeah, Nathan? yeah, I remember him. Yeah, yeah. He like kept, like, he was like interviewing me, but it was like job interview questions. I <laughs> like, could see him doing that too. And I was like, Bro, like, I haven't seen you for so long. Like, don't ask me questions. Get out of my house. <laughs> Dude, I feel like that's going to be you and me, like, whenever we have, like, our reunion. It's going to be you and me just, like, talking about old times, just trying to avoid everyone else. Because we're like, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, just everyone else. And then, like, there's those few people that were like, okay, I, I, you know, I like you, but I've never really talked to you either. Yeah, but see, my thing is, like, all of the people that we went to school with, I can imagine them being, like, super friendly to us. And us just being like, you didn't want anything to do with us when we were 18. What, yeah. Like, what are you doing? Yeah. I mean, at least, like, I'd like to see Bella. Like, she, she'd probably be the best person to probably catch up. Bella and Sharon, and then basically everyone else I don't give two shits about. <laughs> Maybe a few oh, of the guys, like, maybe Ethan, see what he's doing. Ethan didn't like me much, but I, I understand that, because I was super annoying. Brock was pretty cool. Brock was cool. He had no social skills, though. That's right. That's what made him so great. Yeah. But yeah, it's gonna be- I feel like it's just gonna be so weird. I'm just hoping I'll be able to turn up with a guy so I don't, you know, again, like, it, well, I mean, I know that seems a little cliche, but it's like, I don't want to still be streaming, like, and just go up to people and be like, yeah, no, I stream video games. <laughs> I want to feel a little bit more successful than that. Yeah, yeah. But it's usually a 10 year reunion. We're not even into five years yet. No, it's usually a five year reunion. Oh, really? Okay, fuck yeah, that. So I'm not going. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure it's when we're like 24 or something. What is happening? Oh, that's another harpy. I'll be your boyfriend. Okay, done. <laughs> we just like, we turn up like a couple, you're I'm dressed in like a suit, I'm dressed in a nice dress, and 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 people are like, yes, what's going on? And I'm like, oh yeah, I've been dating for Ruby like three years now, and we just lie to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it'll be more like, they'll be like, hey, Ruby, and I'll be like, I'm not Ruby, I'm Hannah's boyfriend. And they'll be like, yeah, but your name's Ruby. I'll be like, no, I'm here as Hannah's boyfriend, only. <laughs> I am, no, I am impersonating that of Hannah's boyfriend, that Hannah's boyfriend has no name. <laughs> like, I would, I wouldn't give it up at all. All. Like I'd be like really drunk, and I'd be like, "Ruby, are you okay?" I'd be like, "I'm not. I'm not Ruby. I'm I'm Hannah's boyfriend." <laughs> I'm <laughs> I'm not Hannah. Ha I I'm not Ruby. Just just 
I am of no person. I'm, I'm Hannah's boyfriend, okay? But don't tell right. her, it's a secret. <laughs> No, like, you would be in on it, too, and you'd be like, hey, Ruby, and I'd be like, no, I'm Hannah's boyfriend. You'd be like, yeah, I'm Hannah. I'd be like, I'm Hannah's boyfriend. <laughs> I'm an actor. Once I get a part, I stick with the part. Like in Throats? I didn't know Grass could sing. My god. <laughs> Dang, Clippard. That's epic. I used to have a mohawk. Damn, Treasure. You hacking go on places. But that's just conforming to social norm, and they'll be like, super confused face. Yes. Do you, like, that's what I mean, like, it feels a little cliche to be like, oh, I don't like, like, I, I want to turn up there with a guy, but it's also like, I mean, just imagine how cool it would be to turn up with a guy and just be like, yeah. I'm hecking, I'm, I'm, I'm hecking going places. Or yeah. something. Like you, you want people to see you like winning at life. Yeah. That's Isn't annoying. that the whole point? Like, otherwise, it's like, yeah, I still sit in the house and play video games. I've no. Gr I think probably more, probably more so, just so I can like just. I'm like, I know for a fact that if we go, Liam's gonna be there, and I'm going to want to just feel better than you him in every to... form of way. Because <laughs> I hate him. him. Like, huh? like I'm gonna murder him. Yes, exactly. And if he has like, if he has his life together, like he has a girlfriend, he has a stable job and all of that jazz and he's saving up to buy a house, I'm gonna fucking lose it. I'm gonna leave and I'm gonna be crying and you're gonna be like, it's okay, Hannah, you're still a better person than him. And I'm like, no, I'm not. We can, we can destroy that though. Like we can ruin it. <laughs> no, that's me. Like, we don't do that. Like, it doesn't have anything we, to do with us. We can her and decide and let her know what, like, what kind of a slime ball. We just walk up being like, hey, remember when you, like, made me really sad in year nine and then you were still kind of an asshole? And then, wait, you are still a bit of an asshole. <laughs> She'd probably be like, oh, yeah. I mean, for all we know, the girl is equally an asshole. And they just, yeah. they just belong together. Yeah, maybe. Perhaps. No, Wings, you destroy it with bombs. I didn't, I couldn't make any bombs, okay? It didn't say anywhere about bombs. I don't think, I think I don't, I don't think I have the... I don't know. Wait, it's an alchemy. Oh shit, it's an alchemy. I checked the other place instead. Shh. I don't have the stuff. I don't have the stuff anyway. It's fine. I don't have to destroy it. I'll go back. Anyway. You don't have to. You could. I could. Technically, I still have a mohawk. It's just overgrown drastically. It's all flooping to one side. That's a good way to have a mohawk, though. Like, over the festive season, if it's, like, a relaxed, chilled out, like, kind of nice, vibing mohawk, like, it doesn't have to be intense all the time. Yeah, it's true. My hair needs- I need a trim. I need to fix my hair desperately. <laughs> Cheshire, do you feel like a lesser human? Just reduce everyone else to ashes. <laughs> you don't have to get better if everyone else gets worse. <laughs> That's extremely toxic, but I, I like it. I like it too. Careful, sir. It's a good way to be. Oh, stop. It's a good sentence. It could be worse. No ordinary fog, this. The odor. <laughs> Metallic almost. Potatoes. Um, but yeah, no. I mean, that's a stupid reason. But I think it's just it's just one of those things where it's like, I know I'll probably feel like a piece I'll have a shit time if it that is the case, you know? Yeah, but like George is also gonna be there, so like you can just bring a whole bag of popcorn and sit back and like <laughs> Watch you and her. If anything, I feel like I'm gonna go up to her and be like, okay, I want your side of the story now. And she's gonna be like, what? And I'm gonna be like, oh, sweetie, we're going back a three years now. What the hell? Like, and if you don't tell me the truth, I will gut you, gut out your lungs. No, I'm kidding. Um, oh my god. That's gory. It is very gory. I would never do that. It's gross. I don't like other people's blood. That's like a big 
thing to do in the middle of a high school reunion. He <laughs> just pulls out a coat hanger. I feel like everyone would be pretty upset. <laughs> no, no, I think it would be pl it's entertainment. Just think of it as um, as you know, like the Colosseum no, stuff. It would be great. Uh Ah, everyone would go home early and my mum would be like, wow, you're home early. I'd be like, yeah, kind of ripped someone to shreds. Yeah. Um, we had to clear out before the police got there. Yeah. A coat hanger for lungs? I don't know. <laughs> Do you think I murder people? No, I don't know what you're supposed to say. No, a coat hanger would work. It would take you a while, but it would work. Well, the point was is that it's jabs on the end. I was thinking it was a pointy end and you could like hook it in or something. You could always just use a knife, but <laughs> nah, you. nah, that's too that's too mainstream. I do imagine you using a plastic coat hanger, though. I feel like that's where the <laughs> the lines got mixed. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's that's my mistake. Um, footsteps. No. Yes. What? Anyway, um, yeah, I, I don't know if I, I, I don't know, it's always weird with, like, something like a reunion, cause, yeah. here. Where's that artifact you, you want? Tracks masked with magic. This is getting interesting. You want what? Um, you, you, like, it's always, like, you wanted to hope that it will be, like, a good time catching up with people, but then it's, like, I mean, the, again, like, the fact that the closest person to people I was really close to at the end was, like, you and Sharon and, like, no one else. Yeah. It's like, yeah. hmm. Yeah, okay. Not much more See, than like, that. I was kind of close to, like, Neve and Meg. Like, I spoke to them a bit because we shared a class in biology. And now I just, like, don't speak to them at all. Like... They've invited me somewhere like once in school and I went and it was boring. So now I just don't make the effort at all. I still hang out with Julianne a bit, but I feel like that's because like we're the only ones in Borsham. Yeah, I always feel a little bit bad about Julianne just because... I keep forgetting she exists. Bastards are strong. Must be well, it, it's not just that though. It's not that, well, in my opinion, it's not just that. It's like... There are, like, I started off with her, I, like, I was friends with her in, in primary school, in, like, year five and yeah. six. Um, but then near the end of year five, I made friends with, like, Lily and Sharon and that, and they were all going into the self group, and I wasn't going to be in Julianne's class, so of course I kind of just sort of moved on to, like, them, so I sort of, like, left. Like, I think they kind of talked a bit of shit after I left, because at first it was like, because they were like, oh, I thought you didn't like Downball, and I was like, you know what? The company's nice. I don't like the get, you know, like, I know, I was one of those people. Um, I started off with, like, because we used to sit back and be like, stupid down ball, look at them play stuff, and then it was like, you know what? They're pretty cool. I like the company, and it's actually pretty fun. I grew as a person. <laughs> I don't know. That's like how most social, like, hobbies and stuff start. Like, you don't have to start liking something to do it. You can just like the company. Like, I didn't like doing badminton or volleyball or any of the after-school sports. I just really liked hanging out with people. Mm. And also, I was better than them, and that made my ego feel good. Yeah. Well, that's what I was going to go on to say, is that I feel like... Then we got into high school, and I feel like I saw Chloe slowly drop off the wagon. I don't... Z Tori went, like, a different direction. Sophie went to a different school, I think. I think she left at some point. Yeah. And I, I just, I kind of, like, I feel sort of sorry for Julianne, because she sort of ended up, um... In the middle. Just, yeah, just, like, kind of, like, lost in the middle a little bit. Um... I think she had, um, Jacinta, though, and those two were, like, really good friends. They're still really good friends. Yeah. So, like, she still had a best friend. She just, like, wasn't in the centre cool. of any groups. That's not she quite... Kind of But yeah, no, it's just the way it goes sometimes. Yeah. Come on. Ooh. 
Ooh. I'm in Ararat. Oh, she did it. She made it. Only three and a half more hours till Melbourne. No, no. <laughs> bad, bad Ruby. I love being an adult and being able to like be like, I could just go somewhere. <gasps> what? I died? No? Yes? Am I dead? I'm dead. Okay, I didn't fall on the ground like you think I would have. Wait, when when was I when did I last save? Had a save, damn it! <laughs> no. I literally look over. Okay. Hi Cheshire. Anyway. Plastic would be Damn. Use the eye. Plastic would be a choking hazard. Hmm. Oh yeah, go for the eyes. Hangers are good for that. That's a good buy. Save. It's pretty strong, this one. Look at you guys telling me How what I should have done. This is why I keep you guys here, chat. I love you, chat. <laughs> you, don't, you don't read chat enough for it to No, make I'm difference. talking to you and reminiscing, okay? I wasn't expecting to come across a difficult enemy. Thank you for the follow, Leon. Don't mind me. Just heckin' uh, shouting at things. Anyway, I died. We don't talk about that. Nothing. Just move on. Um, it's okay. She'll probably get through it. I was so close. But saving will be good. I have faith in her faltering abilities. <laughs> Do you regret saying that? All the credit is wolves. I don't know this game yet. It's okay. We get ignored anyway. No, I love just cut Ruby here. This game is taking a very long time to load, and it's like, do I go to the toilet? Or do I just wait? Actually, what's the time? 2.40. 2 anyway, but yeah, life's wild. It's not that wild. It's okayly wild. I'm not disappointed. I'm impressive, impressively amused. <laughs> Can we take that? I'm just at my prediction, dude. I'm just gonna take a screenshot of that. I feel like I just want to start saying that now. Instead of saying I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. Just I'm not disappointed. I'm impressively amused. And you have to say it with that tone of voice. I'm impressively amused. <laughs> impressively amused. Yeah, get that knife out. Shing. This is a phone, but you get the same point. I don't have a knife in here. Pencil, pencil, pencil is count. I think this game might not, might be stuck. It might be, mm. but that's all okie dokie. So why are you going to Arat? Uh, to pick up the stuff that I ordered that wasn't ready when I um when? went the other day, the other week. Yep. Um, that, that was two weeks ago I remember it being a week after you visited and it was just sort of like sitting there and being like, it was a week since I saw her. And before that, it'd been like a year. Like that kind of yeah. weird realization of like, what the fuck? It didn't feel like a year because mm. we talked all the time. It felt like like we just hadn't hung out for a bit, yeah. you know? Yeah. Honestly, I really, I just, I really, I really do appreciate it. I really like talking with you and like, you know, having those fun conversations. I feel like you learn a lot from me, and I learn a lot from you. It's just like a good mutual, yeah, mutual understanding. Yeah. No, I also find it really funny because it's like one of those things where it's like, if you look at all of our interests, for example, I don't think any of our interests align in the slightest. Maybe it's like slightly with music. Nothing overlaps. You know, I think the only reason you like the music I do is because I made you listen to it, and you're like, this isn't bad. And now I still listen to Tom Rosenthal six years later. <laughs> I love Tom Rosenthal. I know, it's so good. Um, it's just good to chill to. Yeah, it really is. It's a good it's a good jive. And then here, like, here's so many songs that just have diff evoke different emotions that it's like, if I'm sad, I'm going to listen to this song. If I want to feel sad, I'll listen to this song. <laughs> if I want to be happy, heckin' watermelon, 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 watermelon. I think that was, like, the song that, like, introduced me to his yeah, music. it was. I, like, showed it to you, and I was like, and also he has other songs. Yes, and then, yeah, I remember that. Because we listened to Watermelon together, and then we opened up, um, and then we listened to, like, uh, Don't Die Curious. Oh, yeah. yeah. 
just good stuff, you know? It was the other one. There was another really chill one. Ricky Montgomery. I still listen to his music, even though he hasn't released a song in four years. <laughs> That's okay. People do that sometimes. It's just good, you know? It's just good. Yeah. No, I still feel that way about, like, uh, Imagine Dragons. Like, that music came out in, like, 2012, and it's still fucking good. I still will listen, go back and listen to Radioactive. I still like pumping out music. Um, I just, like... Like, they're still pumping music out, like, all the time. I just... Like, it's not as good as it was. It used to be so good. I remember when um, Demons first came out, and I was like, this song slaps. It's incredible. Wow. And now it's just like, oh, this new song came out. It sounds like the last song that they released, but, like, edgier. Cool. Yeah, I feel... I definitely get that, but I feel like... Like, I've, I think I've talked about this kind of vaguely, or, or I've watched something about this, like, it's... I think it's about how you like slowly grow up and this also applies to a lot to video games right like it always feels like there's parts where um you know you listen to new songs you play new games and whatever and it feels so cool and new and amazing and then um Someone placed an and then like you get a little bit older and you're like like it's the same similar sort of music but slightly different and then you're just yeah. kind of disappointed yeah I don't know, but see, the thing is, like, even, like, years later, I'm still discovering, like, new bands that I was like, why didn't I know about this one specific band when I was 17? This is the vibe that I was going for. Like, <laughs> what's going on? And, like, listening to old songs that I used to listen to, it kind of, like, like, the first time you hear a song and you know it's like, this is going to be one of my favourite songs. You Like, that memory sticks with you. Like, I can still remember walking to school and listening to one band for the first time through my little earplugs with my bag full of textbooks and every time I listen to that song, I'm like, that was a good day. I loved that day. Must be the phone. Yeah. You know, like, it just sticks with you. It really does. I, I agree. That's why, I, and I, that's the other thing, right? Like, you have, like, so much nostalgia for, like, specific games. Uh, sorry, for, like, specific music and whatever. Um, yeah. Is that you, you, like, that's your kind of impression. That's your expectation for things. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. And it's hard to, like, tear yourself slightly away from that. But, yeah. But I'm still glad that at least some music comes out that still sort of slaps. Like, 21 Pilots, they're still making music. It Does it hit yeah, as much as music. Stressed Out did? Maybe not, but I still really liked Level of Concern when that came out because it was so relevant to, like, just fucking COVID I, and stuff. I like, I like Level of Concern. It's That's so a good, good song. But Hell. my thing is, imagine, um, 21 Pilots released a lot of music before Stressed Out came out, and their music was so much better, and it was chill, and you could just put it on, and you didn't have to pay attention to it. And then Stressed Out came out, and it was completely different to anything they'd ever done. And it got so popular that they kept making music like that. Yeah, yeah. And now, like, I liked your band before Stressed Out came out, and now I can't relate to any of the music that you've put out since. Oh, well, that's you interesting. Know? I didn't know that, yeah. Because, as far as I know, like, I thought, like, their kind of initial stuff was, um... Um... You know, like, stuff like Stressed Out, like that, again, like, it was an example of, of, of how it worked for them, you know? Like, you, you can't exactly blame them for going that direction when, when they did Stressed Out, it just heckin' worked. It hit the medium, it hit the right audiences, you know? Like, and I think a lot of, um, a lot about, like, 21 Pilots is the fact that you, you like that it's a relatable, because no one relates to those fucking, you know, beautiful stories of, uh, like, love stories anymore. Who fucking cares about One Direction? <laughs> you know, you want to listen to slightly edgy, relatable shit. So long ago. <laughs> like, One Direction isn't a thing. I know, but it's still... It's just an example, okay? No, I okay, I died I... again. That's okay, you're allowed to die. 
I'm glad I have your permission. Yeah, it's all good, bro. Alright, I'm in Ararat, I'm parked. I'll go get this stuff and then I will reconnect. Okay, I'm gonna go to the toilet and then try one more time at this boy, as in trying to kill this monster. Okay. Bye. Bye bye. Alrighty. Um, once this finishes loading, <laughs> didn't crash this time. Fantastic. Just for the reference, I did have to like close the game and like reopen it. Um, I think that was a little obvious, but yeah. Anyway, I'm just gonna quickly go to the toilet and I'll be back, okay? Ruby was nice to have. Absolutely. Dude. I think it, it might be a little obvious considering of all the stuff we were talking about. So we attended school together. Um, I met her at the end of 20, 2012, technically, because they have like, I, I think they have them in other countries, like that kind of like transition day where you're like in year six and you get to try um, like 
you go to a different school of go to try out like the how the high school goes and you spend like a whole day doing like a various different types of things anyway um yeah so we did that and i met ruby from that event um and and the funny thing is is that ruby and i like we hated each other <laughs> Well, um, well, actually, no, Ruby really liked me for a while, and I hated her, because she... Yeah, we had that for year, for year four. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, so we have, like, prep w year one, two, three, four, five, six, and then six to high school, and then seven to year twelve. And then, and then college. Um, well, high school. Um... And so Ruby always wanted to keep doing stuff with me, and I tolerated her, to say the least. <laughs> um, and then, obviously, like, you know, it, it kind of got to a point where, like, and then it kind of changed where I just, like, really liked and appreciated her, like, a lot. And she, and she got really irritated by me, and now it's like, we just vibe. Like, again, it's one of those things where, like, we have, like, a shared history. So, it's actually really nice having someone... That I can go and have like have those memories with like because obviously she'll remember different things than I remembered uh do you just remember different things yeah Ruby's jumped into chat a few different times you might have missed her in the past but she'll she'll occasionally jump in Well, 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 you again. Here we go again, guys. Over here. Ah, oh, did a two hit. Oh, fuck. cool with this enemy because you can kind of tell where they are because of the um the moving of the mist Ooh, this one it's right in front of me Ooh. Time's a charm. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's nice. I always like having people like that. Especially considering like um like I've kinda of talked about this before, but um so by the time I got to the end of like year um year twelve, I had kinda of, it's not that I had lost my friends exactly. Either they had moved or left school. Um Wait, what's this way then? Um. Ah, yes. More dead people. Oh, so this is just the back way out. Okay. Um, because I started off going to school with. So I had Lily, Anna, Sharon, Ruby, and Diane. That was kind of. And, and me. So that was like kind of like our friends group. Um. Anna and Sharon left in year, um, um, left in year eight. These are from people in my class, by and by the way, not actual, not people. Like I had a lot of other friends at different year levels as well, but um, specifically from my class. So they two left the in year eight when we were fourteen. 
Diane le left it the year after that. The funny thing is, is that we had a new Sharon come in, which is, I shouldn't say a new Sharon, she's lovely. Um, who, uh, yeah, so we just so happened to make friends with another Sharon. Uh, when she moved and Monster. attempted, ah. came into our class. Um, but she always, she was always really good at making friends, and she was a lot more like into science and the like. So while me and Ruby did psychology together, Sharon did more biology and made friends with the people in the biology class. Also, Sharon was just, she's just a gem of a human being. Um, I should catch up with her. She lives nearby. I should make sure I do that maybe some point in the new year. Um, <clears throat> um all right, I think we'll just go back to the main storyline now. There we go. Just... Hey! Look, a wyvern. Shing! Um... And then Lily... I think she finished year 12 in a different... school sort of thing. So, uh, start. Um, or like left, didn't do year 12. One of the two, I can't remember. Um... Despite we still kept in contact with her. I really need to go fix this weapon. Um, yeah, so I I didn't really, um, so by the time I got to year 12, and and like I had a few other people, like, like there was like Liam, Traith, um, um, and Georgia, but now that Ruby's had a falling out with Georgia, I mean I was never that close with Georgia, but you know, we were, we were pretty chill. Um, Liam, who I now hate, and Traith also left in year 8. Um. Oh god, where am I? I need to go, I think, this way. Yeah, just follow the road. The thing about my crossgrade year or day was that I didn't stay in contact with them. Ah, oh, okay. We basically were like put into like demi groups, I guess to say like we were put into groups and like we kind of just vibed. Um, how would I put it? Uh, the cross, the uh, orientation day. That's what we had call it. Orientation day was, I'm pretty sure, was a bit of like a simulation of how it would be, sort of thing. So I think of a lot of the people that I had in on orientation day like maybe we'd already had like a little um you know a little thing so it was like people who we knew were going to be in the class were kind of in that class i think don't quote me on that i'm not entirely sure <laughs> but most of my high school 9 to 12 i spent most of it hanging out with people two years older than me yeah so i hung out with so that was jay so that's jade and kirsty and tegan who, who I hung out with them, um, and I'm still friends with those people because we have similar interests compared to other people. Oh, okay. <laughs> How I know Dad's watching my stream. He's re responding to my questions. Yeah, so Lily finished school in um at, at a different school. <laughs> Look at them. Did everyone see that? Okay, they were like tipos. They were still loading in. I almost knocked something over. Um. But a humble bard graced a ride along. Graced a ride along. Um, yeah. So by the time year twelve, it was kind of just me and Ruby, and there was still Liam, but he kind of just like hung around our group. And there was like a few other people who we hung out with, but I didn't know them that well. At least I wasn't close friends with them. Here we go. Steak. Oh, I need to fix things. Oh, I went to the wrong place. Okay, where am I? I think I want to go this way. Wait, no. 
No, I do want. Ooh. You know what? I'm gonna go this way, and I'm just gonna go east. Oh. I don't know if people are singing or if it sounds like they're barring or something. Dad, I figured out what I'm gonna uh, what I'm gonna food. What I'm sorry, what I'm gonna food. No, I figured out what I'm gonna buy you for Christmas. Okay. May maybe it's not that much, but I figured something out. You know, if I can buy it, if it's even there, it might not be there, which is fine. I'll figure it out. I'm gonna go tomorrow and pick it up. I just realized that's Lord Darkness, not Wolves. Hi, lo hi, Lord. How's it going, dude? My Lord, how's it going? Hey, she's back. And she's gone again. <laughs> when you hear Ruby for like 2.1 oh, wow. seconds. Damn it, I don't know where I am. I know I can look at my map, but we're, we're using the power of observation. Ugh, I don't want to talk to those guys. Um, um, it should be east. Nope, that's south. It should be... It should be like this way. Yeah. Okay, I figured it out. <laughs> Just further across than I thought it would be. Oh. Oh, okay. It's not here. It's the middle of the day. It's not here. It's fine. It's maybe, it's, maybe it's his day off. This time. It's 3.12. Okay. I'll have to finish up soon. I say that I could shopping. theoretically still Before. go for like an hour, hour and like twenty minutes, but what do you? I like to. I really keep this stuff just to sell. Oh, okay. Ooh, a better weapon. Pog. Wait, hold the phone. Before I sell you more things, give me a sec. So long. Check. I'm wearing my best gear. My best gear life. So it's a steel sword. Ooh, that's plus two. <sighs> Look, anything is better than that other piece of armor. I don't care if it has more... These things. I never use these damn rune stones. I like them. They look pretty. I just never do because I always end up changing armor so much that I feel like there's no point. Alright. I love Novigrad. Reforged. What do you have? Okay, 328, 143, 11, 1. Hmm. That's a bit of silver sword. That's the one I was going to create. So, um, or, uh, I mean, I could buy it. How much is it? 500. And then I could still sell the other two things as well. Okay. Okay, that's an option. Do I need to look for like bomb diagrams? Svarok rune stones, rune stones, rune stones. I can't believe you can make rune stones. I always forget it because it just doesn't seem like a thing that should be possible. Hmm. You know what? Let's do that. Make this. 
And then we sell this and this. This. And then we go repair. Back to shop. Still doesn't have enough. <laughs> Uh, so close to- Hey, look, this one's also Gveno. Gveno? Yes, I did say the right word. So this is like the lower version and that's the higher version, okay. I have to be level 13 though. Hi. Uh, hi. <laughs> Hello! Hi. Hello. Hey. Oh, you know, um, just buying stuff. Stuff? Yeah. Buying things? What are you buying? Um, in the video game. <laughs> Take no. Oh. Not in real okay. life. No, no, no. We don't buy things in real life. That's I don't valid. have that sort of money. I wish I could relate. I wish I didn't buy things in real life. <laughs> so long. Um, I yeah. Like... Mm. Because you just spend too much? Well, I. It wasn't as much as I thought it would be, but it was still a fair bit. And I, like, had just enough money in my spending account to pay for it. Which doesn't mean that, like, I have more money overall, but I like to split the money that I have into both spending and saving accounts. Yeah, makes sense. Um, that I can, like, transfer forth whenever I need. Yeah. But I, like, bought them. That was fine. Went to go buy lunch, and the lady was like, um, your card declined? I was like, oh, all good. I'll transfer money. Like, are you sure? I can just put it back. <laughs> I was like, no, no, I have the money. It's all good. Oh, uh, that's awkward. I must look like I don't, I guess, I, mu I must have the look of someone that can't afford to buy themselves lunch, I guess. Because she was like, I can just put it back. <laughs> like, no, I'm hungry. <laughs> uh, that, that does seem like a really odd thing to do. Like, wouldn't it, like that seems kind of offensive. I mean, obviously it's you, so you could get away with it, but it's like, if there was anyone else, like, if they, they could have just oh, carried on their asses. I walked in and they didn't have anything that I, like, thought I'd want. And I was like, okay, I'll get the veggie focaccia. And then she, like, turned to me, she's like, what can I get for you? And I was like, the turkey focaccia. And so now I have this turkey focaccia, and I don't, I don't love turkey. I think it's just okay. Just okay. No, no more, no less. It's got cranberries in it. And I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to enjoy this. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Hey, look, like, at least you're more willing to, um, explore flavors, unlike me. Well, I just, I, I don't know why I said that. <laughs> and I was too embarrassed to just, like, be like, oh, actually, I want the veggie one. Because she'd already, like, pulled it out and started toasted it. Yeah, yeah. It tastes like it has strawberry jam in it. Honestly, which is that's, delicious. yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, cheese, turkey, spinach, and strawberry jam. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh well. You sound delighted. <laughs> it's fine. I only went in there because I wanted a smoothie. That's fine. So long. I got the same one as last time and then remembered that I I didn't love it. It was just like <laughs> I was wondering why you wanted you you were interested in getting it again. I wasn't gonna question you though, I was like, hey, you know. It's fine. It's an okay smoothie. It just tastes predominantly of Greek yogurt. Yeah. And like, not the sweet kind. The yeah, it's sour a bad kind. Yep, yeah, that's. Not a fan. Oh, hi, Turtle. Gaming, ballin', but at what cost? Oh, racked up a whole bunch of Steam points and bought the coolest Steam profile pick. What is it? Tell me. Send pictures in Discord. It's gonna be one of like those titty ones. It's like an anime girl VTuber ones that are just kind of like... No, I'm kidding. Dude, I have so many Steam um, ones. How many do I have actually? I'm curious now. Um, I have to check, just out of principle. Points shop. I checked it the other day and I had like 56. I have 51,000 in little steam points to like get stuff why is there an acorn strut anyway. 
that's a lot. Yep. I think you have a problem. Yep. This is Geralt swinging a sword, though. That's pretty cute. Anyway, wait, wait. I bought a dancing hat kid. Oh, very nice. That is the most superior. Yes, I agree. Yeah, I'm gonna have to be buying more stuff. I've bought one gift. I'm waiting for the other lot of Steam sales to come out so I can check prices and figure out what I'll, what I'm gonna buy other people. Yeah. I never come back, you stinking Oh, Zoltan! I forgot about Zoltan. He's the best. This is the worst sandwich I've ever eaten. Next time I'll rip your fucking legs off and shove them up your ass till you've toes for teeth. Ew. <laughs> Just like, well, this sound sounds lively. Oh, Zoltan's Zoltan, the best boy. With your boot to someone's ass, as always. <laughs> Who were those men? Uh, think of a very small, uh, sorry, like a dwarf, long enough for them to with like a scruffy brown beard, with like a mohawk, just. Heckin' All right. kicking Time guys in the ass and change. with the most colorful language in life. Here to join me? Sounds like someone I'd want to drink with, with but... Yeah. Ow. Yeah, almost like we never left her. I wonder how he meets Zoltan. I'm curious now. I still haven't watched the second season of The Witcher. It's gonna happen. I bought a dead island. Is that like a horror game or a light? Like, is it a zombie game or what sort of genre are we talking? I say that, maybe it's just the name of the place. Okay. Cool. Something worrying you. Um. It's about Siri. This sandwich sucks. She came to I've never been more disappointed in myself. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many you know? It now? Six, yeah, seven? understandably. Very good, Maccas. What she be doing here? Look, I'm considering it. I'm considering, like, the whole meal was $24, and I got, like, that's including the focaccia, the smoothie, and the donut that I bought myself as a treat. Not at all. But now I'm like, she came here the focaccia wasn't worth it, and now I don't, I'm just not having a good time. Yeah, you just want to be like, I want to get rid of this taste in my mouth. It tastes like if you took pancakes that have like a berry compote and ice cream and like slapped turkey spinach and cheese on top and like were expected to eat it like it's just not good <laughs> don't just don't go it. there every time i say go to macca's and you're just like no 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 i only say no 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 when people tell me to go to macca's when i've already been to macca's more than once that day Okay, you know what, that's fair, but it's mm. also sort of like, um, like Macca's, like, I guess it's like, it's one of those things, right, where, um, <clears throat> you know, when you're, uh, you know what to expect, and you know that if you buy something, you will like it. It doesn't have that amount of, yeah. oh, I don't know, this could be bad, sort of thing. And like, I never have high expectations from Macca's, so when it tastes good, I'm like, oh, this is great. And when it tastes bad, I'm like, oh, you know, this is expected. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah, <laughs> yes. Like, my expectations are always the same with Macca's. Yeah. It's like, are the hot chocolates good? No. But are they good enough? When it's really early in the morning and all you want to do is just get a little bit of food in your stu in your stomach, absolutely, you'll deal with the absurdly, um, just uh, just the absurdly bitter taste of them using way too much like powder. Mm -hmm. Nothing here. No, 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 no. That's exactly what we're looking for. It's just fine. Hmm. 
It says planner. KFC is the same. Like, I never start my day like, I'm going to have KFC. It's more like, I've run out of every other option of what I could eat, so I'm going to eat KFC. But I'm never unhappy with it. Mm. It's fine. I mean, sometimes it goes badly, but not, like, horribly badly. It's just... Yeah. It's just kind of like, look, I didn't enjoy this as much this time. The next time yeah, I have it, maybe it'll be better. The fries were soggy. Or yeah. Like, mm, or undercooked. Or not enough different. salt. Mm. Zombie game. Melee combat. It's got gunplay too. Oh, okay. But it's not the focus. One game has an infinite pistol action skill and it has a cooldown. I have the game and it's super fun in co-op. I like how Cheshire just goes off. He's like, yes, at that game. Oh, wait, did, which dead island did you get? Oh. Yes. Huh. Dandelion and planning? Good one. Besides, anything he wrote here probably had a special system. Chaos only he could ever decipher. Actually, in the past, sometimes not even that. Give him a chance. Might not be that bad. <laughs> Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who did he... I don't know if I want to go through Macca's now. Look, I've, uh, I ate the whole sandwich. Is. Like, I, I'm not going to waste a good sandwich. Oh, yeah, no. What about but, like, the donut? Is the donut still good and satisfying? I haven't had it yet. It, like, it's a custard cream donut, right? Uh hate those. Go on. No, 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 I like them. They're nice. Yeah. But she asked me if we wanted it warmed up. And I said no. And now I'm like, hang on. Why did she ask me if I wanted it warmed up? Is it going to be bad if it's cold? But it's got cream in it. Who warms up cream? I don't know. I think surely it's custard, right? Like the idea is you warm no. it up. Yeah. But I don't know. I'm just confused. <laughs> And like when when she like like was ready, she like called it out. She's like one focaccia, one cold donut, and a smoothie. And I was like, "That's me." But why would you emphasize that the donut's cold? Yeah, it's Surely just usually it's either cold. it's like heated or not heated. Like you just don't specify that it's not heated. That's like saying I want one untoasted sandwich. Like you, <laughs> you don't say like, that. And the fact that it's like custard cream. Who would put cream in a microwave? Who does that? <laughs> huh? Dad says go to Subway. Ugh. Get a I cookie. I don't like Subway. There is a Subway in Ararat. Well, that's why I he's suggesting. Like... Yeah, but I don't like Subway. It's not a nice thing. Yeah. No, the only thing, because I don't eat, like... I don't eat burgers, right? So whatever I get it, it's just bread, chicken pieces, and cheese, and salt. And that's all it is. It's not good in the slightest. But every I mean, so often I crave problem. it. I do like a meatball sub. Hmm. If I'm going to Subway, idea. that's what I get. Yeah. Um, I did branch out once and try the lamb euros, and that was yucky. So I regretted it and never got it again. But like, it's always a hit and miss, and I don't yeah, I don't want to risk that, you know, with my life. I'll ask the lassies in my half, you interrogate the ones in yours. Mm. Should you? Zoltan, wait. Just a bad this time all nice. around. And you figure that's unnatural because... Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right, you up. Need to do a wee bit of tidying for them. Sorry, I'm watching the game. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this all place. Good. And you'd be wise to Should I go through Macca's yes or no? Door. Three, two, one. Yes. Be next door. At least okay. get it's a hot out. What well, it's hot outside today. You could go get yourself a nice frozen Pepsi Max. I have a smoothie though. Uh. <laughs> well. I don't have a response to you now. <laughs> Listen, I don't know. Um. I'm listening. Okay. I would go just to make it feel a little more satisfying to have okay. like a flavor that you enjoy and then hopefully I'm hoping that the custard 
is like the donut is still good. If the donut's bad, like don't end on the donut, you know, like maybe take a bite into the donut, test how it tastes, and then be like, okay, this is gonna be horrible, eat this first, and then buy something from Mac is like an ice cream or something to end on like a nice taste. It's too late, I'm already in the drive thru. Okay, well, that's what I'm saying. Just. I will get you the Just last coffee. get with interest. What should I get? You? Listen to me, order. Horsons, no back. I will listen to you, order. He's an honest man. Okay. You pay on time. You get hey, can I please Don't grab pass. a ten-piece chicken McNugget meal? What's that meal looking like? Small, please. What are you hoping for? Can I just grab a bottle of water? A bottle of water. Keep at it. Yeah, that's all. Thanks. Wow, she was so nice. <laughs> yeah. I love her. Is your card- your card's not gonna get declined, right? No, I have two cards. It's all oh, Gucci. Okay. Good, good. We can hear the drive through as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's all good, thanks. Yeah, um, thanks. I'll pay what she owes. This coin. No, that's all good. Dino works. Thanks. To she was nice and pretty. Win win. Already given her a verbal reprimand. Come on. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Not entirely out of kindness, and you're not entirely a stranger. Oh, there's a handsome police officer uh, at the counter you. through the window of you the drive-thru. Took dandelion out whoring. Gerald, right? That's me. I'm Gerald. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a Gerald, he's bald. But like, the handsome kind of bald. <laughs> I was not listening to what you were saying. I was just like, Gerald, that's me. Um. <laughs> um, no, nah, he's not handsome anymore. Gerald. He's got an iPhone 5. Gerald. Oh, dreadful story. Mm. What do you think? Mm. Probably out whoring. Thank you. Ouch. Same thing again. Thanks so much. This is the last. I love Macca's. I know, right? This woman. I could definitely just like Lisa live in Macca's. Oh, so I have to admit, I always. Thanks for your help. Like, I like Macca's, you know, as like a small snack sort of Listen, thing. When I find yeah. Um, Dad. it's always like relatively good, but I'm like, I'm realizing like at the moment, like the closest Macca's are so far away my brain can't fathom that because usually that's, they're yeah, relatively close by like the closest one i think is like a 40 minute walk from here which is oh, like only a five minute drive but when adara and i only drive to kfc and that was once over two months ago now you know like <laughs> you know like, is there really any point yeah no nah, i get that and there's no time where you're like i crave maccas so much it's more like mm. I could go for Maccas, but, you know, if I can't have Maccas, that's fine. It's okay. Yeah. Like, a, just a Maccas run, you're just like, I could go for just one of the horrible hot chocolates, chips, and some hash browns, and it's like 12 o'clock at night, that would be great. Do I need it? No, I'm not leaving this house. <laughs> you know, you, you could get, like, do menu log I'm and just, like, get it delivered, but that's, like, even more I'm effort. To the right spot. How might I be of service? Need something shortened? Patch your trousers, darn your socks. You, Eliel? Yes. Now pick your jaw up off the floor. Sorry, I thought... Thought Eliel was one of Dandelion's girlfriends. Oh, so it's that. Wait here. I love this. It's fantastic. You can't see it. This guy cross-dresses and he's amazing. Is he good at it? Any better? You know what, for an era in like medieval times, pretty good. Okay. Okay. How did you two Good job. I met him one night in a tavern. He was blind drunk. Um, also, my mum is obsessed with The Witcher, like the TV show. Oh, good on him. So when like the new season was announced she's like are you gonna watch the witcher with me i was like no mom i've never played the games and i didn't watch the first series and she was like what games <laughs> 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 the 
TV show just popped up on Netflix and she watched it and she's hooked. But I she didn't that. realize that it was based on a video game. Yeah, well, well, no, it's based on books. But yeah, yeah, there's the books, then the video game, then the TV series. That's amazing. I love that, though. I feel like they based a lot of the visuals on the video games, though. Oh, like, oh really yeah, feel... absolutely. Like, yeah. why not? Like, you already have a visual representation. Why not riff off that a little bit? Yeah. Like, she got, like, real upset because I was like, oh, you want me to buy you the Witcher game for your, like, Christmas present? You want me to get you a PC so you can play the Witcher? She's like, no, I don't like video games. But I should make one thing clear. <laughs> Luckily, Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. Yeah, you we only want to play Minecraft on your phone. A loyal customer. Me? Yeah, 100%. Dandelion, I tried many times. I'm a gamer. I play a video game. Some time. Oh, there's a request. Even though I haven't played it for like six months and I'm still paying the subscription service. I can help with it. Yeah. I have a bad habit of like, you know, like I want to watch more stuff on Netflix, but I never do. But then, like every so often, you'll sit down and you'll watch like all of like Community. Like you'll watch like three or four seasons of Community and like a in a couple of days, and you're like, man, I'm glad I have Netflix. And then go for another six months or so without using it. Community's pretty good. I like miss a lot of episodes because I kept falling asleep while watching it but like it's just nice it is mm. no it's um I really enjoyed like the first like uh like I think it was like I think it's like three or four seasons but then it takes like a dramatic shift in kind of like characters sort of like yeah. it, and I was just like no I'm not really vibing with this Everything so I didn't really have any interest <laughs> yeah I like the kinds of shows that you can watch, like, the start of the episode to the end of the episode, and that's it. There's no plot that, like, goes, goes on. Outside, of the, outside of that one episode. You sound like my dad, yeah. That's fair. Because it, it's easier to track that stuff rather than have to follow along with, like, a whole storyline. Yes. Like, like, The Witcher? You can't just start mid-season. I mean... You wouldn't know what's happening. You're completely right. But you need to understand, the, the first season of The Witcher already makes no sense. <laughs> That's like, why I was like, Mom, why are you obsessed with this? <laughs> because it has sexy guys and cool magic stuff. The role is not sexy. Okay. He is in the, he is in this video game, but yeah, yeah, yeah. She might like, find him attractive. He's a hunk, yes. But other than that, like, there's no sex appeal. Uh, I mean, if there is, uh, for, for, yeah, yeah, for, like, the guy, yes. For the girls, no. Yeah, I just, uh. But I think I'm, like, way too harsh on the Witcher, just because, like. He read you his poems. No. In my opinion, it's just fine. Maybe. Like, it, like, I don't think it deserves the hype, but then I'm like, hang on, I have to remember that this is the first time that someone has made a series based on a video game or a book, and it's not shit. <laughs> yeah, honestly, yeah. Uh, there's been too many times. Uh, they just, they make something based on a video game, and it just sucks, but finally they have something like the TV show, where it's actually like they're taking time to tell the whole story, and like, yeah. tell it one part at a time, that it's actually like, this is, and then like, and, and like, like, again, like, because it's taking inspiration probably also from the video games as well as the book, it's actually following along and being very loyal to the, to the storyline yeah. of things, I'm pretty sure, so. Like you can tell that it's made by people that completely understand. Then I'll chase the pansy all the way to the garden. I really want to kiss. You kiss. What did you want? Did you drop out? It's not a fixed point in time. It's telling stories from different adventures. Yeah, exactly. That's the only reason the uh, the first season doesn't make a lot of sense. And it does make sense from season... 
are from episode four onwards. It starts kind of putting point things of together. Point the video game, oh. and the point of the book, and they've read it and they enjoyed it, and they want to pass or anything like that. They're not just. We had a bit of it. Are you back in? Wanna... Oh, mate. I'm Geralt. Soon Miss Rosa. Oh, you just like cut out for a bit, and then I heard like almost the end of your sentence. I don't know what happened, but it seemed to go fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not even mad about it. Okay, that's good. Oh. <laughs> Oh, shit. Um. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing the second season because obviously it'll be. It's actually going to be more a chronological storyline rather than trying to fit in the origin of Triss and the origin of Yennefer and the origin of Ciri and the origin of Geralt. Just kind of all sort of yeah. be mismatched together. That's fair, but if they had have, like, not done any of that in season one, everyone would have been like. So, like, where's the backstory? Like, what? Yeah, no, what absolutely. Doing? Like, they needed the start from the start. Otherwise, nothing would make sense. Yeah. Like, like when I played this game for the first time, I don't know. I I didn't know. I still don't really know what the previous games were about. All I knew was this game looked pretty, um, and I wanted to. And it was like an open world, heckin' melee fighting monsters stuff. Okay, that's all that mattered to me. Yeah. Um, but then obviously as I was playing, it was like, why does it feel like I should know all of these characters? Who's Zoltan? Why do I know Zoltan? Who's Dandelion? Why should I know Dandelion? Like, it's kind of all those questions. But I didn't really question it either because I'm like, I love this storyline. I love this gameplay. Why would I dare question anything? <laughs> and then like, and then like, like watching the first season of The Witcher, I was like, Oh, this is like context <laughs> that I probably should have gotten from playing the previous games, but no, 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 no. No, 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 no. We don't do that. Mm. It's fine. Hey, the donut like isn't bad, but it's not good. That's disappointing to hear. It's like. It tastes yeasty. Yeah. That was actually something, um, you know, like, there's, like, Daniel's Donuts that have just been so many. Actually, wait, maybe, maybe, maybe you don't have one in Horsham. Sorry, I forgot. We do not have one in Horsham. Okay, well, I feel like they start off, like, they weren't even there, and then there was, like, one in, like, Geelong somewhere, and then there was, like, slowly seeing more and more in like a lot of different places and i can't yeah. help but be like i hate those types of donuts because <laughs> they're like custard like either they're custard or they have some sort of like like cream filling you know like there was this yeah. one uh, i don't know how to explain it not quite cream but you know it has that kind of like that center that's kind of like icing um and i hate them it's just like i just want like cinnamon a plain ass cinnamon donuts and yeah. or like a jam donut you know i don't want anything like that looks really fancy with all this fancy stuff on top like <laughs> with oreos or whatever I'm just not about it i like a jam donut i feel like those kinds of donuts they're too big for me to work with like yeah. I can eat like half of those and be like, that's too much, it's too sweet, it's too much cream, I'm not having a good time. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's just not worth it. Also, the custard in this custard donut is not good. Oh, that's bad. It's not <laughs> Should sweet. you have heated it, it up? <laughs> well, yeah, like it would have tasted good warm, and now I'm like, why would they put cream on it if it's meant to be heated up? But it only had like a dollop of cream on top, which fell off when it went in the bag, so. Yeah, that seems a little counterintuitive as well, or just not smart. Interesting. I don't know. I feel like the girl looked at me funny when I ordered the turkey kasha, and then she looked at me funny again when I ordered the donut cold. So now I'm like, maybe I should have just asked her, like, hey, what's good? And I'd advise you to sod off, yeah. sugar puss. But that's right. Before I report this to Papa. <laughs> Sorry. Um. 
God, what's the time? Time flies when you're chatting with a friend. It truly does, which is why I, like, jumped in, um, simply because I'm driving and I don't want to fall asleep, and, like, my music app is about to expire, and I don't want to have to pay another $12 a month to keep using it. That is, that is fair. You're, you're talking about, like, Spotify, right? Like, I usually... No, I don't, I don't use Spotify. I use YouTube Music. Wow. Because I used to use, I used to use Google Play Music. And then that died, and they replaced it with YouTube Music, and then I was like, okay, that's, yeah, that's okay, I can work with that. Only because it transferred all of my albums over without me, like, asking, which was nice, yeah, so I didn't yeah. lose all the music that I stored. But now I'm like, I don't want to use this anymore, it sucks. So I'm like, ah, I'll bite the bullet and get Spotify next year, but I'll have to transfer all of my my music over onto Spotify manually because they do not like again. there's no easy way of doing it <sighs> like oh it's worth doing because like there's a lot of bands that I know I have on this account that I would completely forget about if I like didn't have them playing regularly and like even like if I sat down and went to write down like 10 of my favorite bands, I'd be like, I'm sorry, I can't do this without looking. Yeah, this yeah. Bayonet's love, let's fill her. Shouldn't interest you. It'll just Baroness take forever just because Don't worry. the playlist for like Cameron. the main playlist that I listen to That's has 2,000 and like 78 now. songs on it. Oh my god, and wow. That's a lot because I just keep adding them. Yeah. And then my one that I had Get from like ribbon, year 12. Till about last year has like eleven thousand songs on it, and I'm like, I should probably right. slow down. But also, There's if no I just keep me. adding songs, I'll never run out of songs. Sake. Mary Louisa Lavalette, an imperial general and a witcher meet, and know each other. Surprising. Yeah. I forgot we, we met this guy later. To, uh... Um, I mean, I could, I could do it for you. If you send me that playlist, I could kind of scrounge through Spotify and make like a list that I could then send you, maybe. Yeah, that would work, but like, I don't... Do you have YouTube music? No. I wouldn't be able to send you the playlist unless you had the app. Really? Yeah. 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 Perhaps Geralt could have <laughs> Just like, yeah, that it sucks, it sucks. Like, it's just the well, most inconvenient way. thing. Which I'm sure, like, by the time, like, YouTube and Google buy Spotify, that would be solved. Because they're, like, definitely going to be use it, like, as a monopoly at some point. But, until no. then... I don't think Until so. If, if it, it's gonna be bought out by like Amazon before before it gets bought out by something like YouTube and Microsoft and like. No, no, but YouTube is owned by Google. That's what I'm saying. But like yeah, Google, Amazon, Amazon's Google's going to, Amazon. Amazon is more likely to buy Spotify and keep it. We've arrived. Yeah, that's fair. My father owned a similar estate in Bruges. I don't know. I feel like they. The gray mare is. Gray's a knife. Put it up. For Say coins on the black stone until surprised he did. Seem to know your horses. No, is not like the word. Morvran's a true expert. I find them to be far more honest than men. Must say, I'm curious how you manage in the saddle, Witcher. Most of just try to stay in it. What would you say to a little race? Not what I came here You've for. been lagging out, Don't by the way. Don't me beg, Witcher. Tell you what, win, and I should give you my finest saddle, made in Nilfgaard proper of beauty. Hell yeah, let's race. Why not? Well said. Yeah, and there's like kill. You can just turn me down whenever I lag, I guess. Rather. I'll not ride with you, but I shall bet. Cantarella for me. I see no point in delaying. Let's fucking go. I had the horse. Do not crash again, please. Um. Okay. Riders ready. I'm 
Come on, go, go. Yeah. So I'm just riding a horse. What kind? Um, they said a uh, chestnut. Uh, well, I yeah. mean the the sorry, like the like that's the color of it. The the type of horse doesn't exist in real world terms. It's. What do you mean? Uh, well, it, you know, like a Zeracanian bay isn't the name of a real type of horse, right? <laughs> bay is a color, same as chestnut. Exactly, and that's why I said chestnut, because that's all that kind of matters. Well, no, but like, bay is brown, while chestnut is orange. Yeah. Mm. And, I, and that's why I said the colors to you, because I don't know the breed, because it's probably a made-up breed, because it's a video game. A that's fair, but if you describe Thanks. the horse to me, I'm Wonderful sure I can pinpoint it. What well, you want me to go do? Go look at it, like, go look at it, the features of the horse? It's definitely not a Clydesdale. I think a lot of the horses yeah. look typically the exact same. Yeah, just describe the horse to me. Does it have a thick neck or a thin neck? Okay. Let me go have a look if the horses are still here. Okay. There's two of the horses. Where's the other one? How how long do its legs look? <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this. Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> Wait. Descriptive one, please. Um. Its that legs from, look from average sized. <laughs> Start from from the head, does it have like a very wide head or is it very s uh, slim? It's it's definitely wide, like it's got like the flat, like white front of the, the head. Okay, okay. Um, how long, like would you say that it's got a very long like muzzle or is it quite short? Um, I think it's it's fairly long, like it's probably at least like two hands long or something. Well, my hands, not your hands. <laughs> I was gonna say two of my hands. <laughs> two of my hands. So just think of one of your hands. <laughs> okay. Um. So, like, we've kind of narrowed it down. Okay. So, it, it, would you say that its head, at the very top, comes to like upwards to a point, or is it more level and then down? Like, what kind of angle would you say that it's like an acute? where its ears meet, or would it be more of obtuse? It looks acute. I can't quite tell because of the hair, but it looks a little more acute, I would say. Okay, okay cool. Um, next. Go with, like, the neck. Okay. Is it, is it, like, a very parallel straight neck, or is it more, like, the top of the neck and the bottom of the neck are more of to a point? What sort of point? What do you mean? Like, are we talking like, about- Like, is the neck shaped more like a tube or an ice cream cone? Ah, um, I would say a tube. Okay, okay. With the shoulders, are they like big and round or are they more like triangles? Shoulders, um... <laughs> the shoulders are the bits above the legs. Yeah, yeah, I got that. No, I'm trying to like tell because from the angle, it's it's a little hard to tell. Then what was... move. Then move. Okay. I mean, I mean, uh, um, what was what were the two again? <laughs> they should either be like really round or more like angular and like a triangle. I'm gonna say round because I can't okay. like they look smoothed out on the in the game. Okay. And you said, like, not very long legs? I mean, if we say Geralt is, like, six feet, it's it's about halfway up his torso. Okay, okay, yeah. Uh, would you say it's a shaggy coat or a smooth horse? Smooth. Okay, you're looking at a warm blood. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna look up, a, uh, like, an actual picture now for comparison. Of a warm blood horse? Yeah. Yeah. Like, you're giving me a lot of, like, round, stocky, but not, like, a stock horse and not a standard bread. 
the warm blood. This is a Rhenish warm blood horse. Um, yeah! I think the only thing is is that um, the legs look a lot thinner. Like in the game, I feel like the legs look a little thicker, but... Okay, uh, Google stock horse. S-T-O-C-K. Okay. And tell me if that fits better. Yeah, that looks a yeah. little better. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna every time there's like a horse in a, in a video, video game, game I'm yeah, I'm just gonna bring you up and be like, Ruby, tell me what horse this is. <laughs> I want you to like just send me a message and be like, I need you to identify this horse. I need. I know you're working right now, but I have important business to talk with, with you about. You'll be like, what is it? And I'll be like, what? <laughs> what horse is this? <laughs> I'll call you and I'll be like. Describe the color of the horse using shades of leaves. <laughs> and you'll be like, you'll be like uh, autumn and late summer. And I'll be like, that's an Arab. <laughs> uh, it makes sense that it's a stock horse. Like, I can I can see that this one's, like, used for a lot of, like... Because I just, like, rode it in a race, right? So it's that kind of aesthetic. Uh, stock, stock horses are not fast. They're used for carrying things, mainly. Okay. If you want, like, a racing horse, you want either a standard bread or a thoroughbred. Yes? Or an, or an Arab, but I knew that it wasn't an Arab by the way that you described how wide its head was. Yeah. It was, it was, it was... Yeah, I mean, I'm hoping I've described it. You're gonna, like, like, I'll clip this and put this in the Discord. And you'll be like, and you'll look at the horse itself and you're gonna be like, Hannah, you're completely wrong with the way you described it. <laughs> be like, the way you described the shoulders was not accurate at all. <laughs> no, no, I, I'm, I tried to get a good look. It's really difficult to see. <laughs> I'm not even mad. <laughs> <laughs> You're just disappointed. <laughs> or impressively amused. <laughs> I really appreciate you including me in your streams, Hannah. <laughs> I appreciate you being here as well. Now, if you find your nearest chicken, I can determine what breed it is. <laughs> I'm sorry, I do not know where the closest chicken is. <laughs> Why don't you have a compass for something like that? Why would I need a compass to show me the closest chicken? So it can like point you in the right direction. I'm Molly, my lord. Wish to see like a me. magic compass that me. only points to chickens. You want anything else, you're out of luck. Yeah. That's oh, right. Except it's the other way around. I'm always saving him. It's fine I though. Say it weren't Dandelion saved you in Flotsam by severing your noose with an arrow from an hundred paces. <laughs> What? Dandelion couldn't... <sighs> Never mind. Any <laughs> idea where our master archer might be at the moment? Don't forget to save. No. save Thank you, Ruby. I'll save after You're this. I'm in a cutscene. Imagine if you just randomly sent that to me Dandelion while I'm like streaming. Like, you know I'm streaming and you just send it and I'm like, oh my god, that's a really good point. I should really save. <laughs> Like right before like a oh boss battle, and I like message you back like, oh my I god, thank you. I don't even put it in stream chat because I know that you won't read it. I like Snapchat it to you or I like <laughs> text you. <laughs> yeah, just just randomly message me. Remember to save, Hannah. I'll be like, I'm not even playing games right now. You're gonna be like, remember to save. <laughs> save in life. by the light of the moon. It's fine. Have you got any plans for Christmas Day? And that wine with the bubbles? Yeah, we usually do a family thing. I think it's at my aunt's house, which is good because it's like right around the corner. Yeah. Um, it's the first like year that one of my cousins can drink with me. Beforehand, it was like I'm the eldest. I don't have any cousins that I can drink with because they're all underage. Maybe um, which is nice. Different Usually it's just me and my nan that get like a little bit drunk and then everyone else is just like, I'll just chill out. Yeah. Yep. Um, 
know where I it's the kind it. of thing where everyone brings Whenever a I... food, so it's easier. Thanks, but Mary. wait. Uh, it's usually just me, my mom, my grandparents, and then like my kind of extended family. Yeah. Which is fine. It's just okie dokie. It's just what it is. Yeah. Um, we do like a family Kris Kringle, so instead of like buying everyone gifts, yeah. we'll have like, you have to buy one gift. For a family member, but it's like two hundred bucks. Yeah, which is like, it's it's easier than trying to figure out what twelve different people want. Yeah, yeah. Just cool. like the kids, like all of my cousins, they still get like one gift each, like from each person. But all of the adults, it's just like, yeah, you get one gift for Christmas. Yeah, and that's it. So, which is fine. We did the same thing, but it was only until, like, people turned 18 and then they would join the thing. But then, like, I think they changed it. Like, so I only ever did it for one year doing Kris Kringle. And now we, like, um, we might, like, all donate how much, however much we want. You know, every person can put in a different amount um, to, yeah. like, a, um, a charity or something. So. Oh, yeah, that's fun. Which is kind of understandable, because I think, like, a lot of us do have basically everything we need you know like we yeah. don't it's not like we need another saucepan or more food or something like that we're yeah. we're yeah, all yeah. perfectly capable of providing for ourselves and so why yeah. not put it towards like, something if, if you need it and you want it you're more likely to buy it for yourself than to put it on a christmas list while well, like especially when i was a kid if i saw something and i want it i would immediately write it down yeah yeah but now I'm like, I can just buy that for myself. I'm an, I'm someone that has money, and if I need it that bad, then I will definitely spend my own money to have it. And if not, then it's not worth it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. No. Although there is, like, this really nice Schultz salt shaker at Herman's that I want. Yeah. And every time, every time I walk past the window, I'm like, I really want that. <laughs> Oh, Adar and I literally just- you know how, like, you can get those really big, like, lots of salt? <laughs> we just bought one of those and we're just, you know, don't even have, like, a thing or whatever. Hang on, how much did you pay for it? I need to know. Oh, god, I don't know, this is a while ago. Um, I'm trying to even remember the brand. Let me have a look. Bowls salt. My- my, like, thing that really grinds my gears is when people will buy, like, a Himalayan salt lamp or, like, one of those, like, decorative lumps of salt. And I'm like, but if you if you go to any livestock realtor that sells stuff for livestock, stock, you can just go buy a chunk of salt for, like, 15 bucks. Okay. Well, I'm just talking about, like, a... Here we go. 750 grams. One of those big sucks or uh, saxa ones. It's like three dollars at Coles. Ah, I see. That's fine. Yeah, I and the, get mad about that. but like, take note: the 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 table sa salt shaker with only one hundred twenty-five grams is two dollars. So yeah, for ninety-five cents more, we're able to get like more than three times the amount of the other one. The really difficult thing is obviously just kind of like trying to sprinkle it across our food, <laughs> but. Yeah, it goes alright. It, it works well. I do like it. Salt is good. Um, but yeah, my, like, what makes me mad is when people buy things for, like, decorative purposes that, like, they could get so much cheaper if they just didn't get it for decorative purposes. Yeah, yeah. Like, I buy massive lumps of Himalayan salt for my horses yeah. For like 15 bucks a kilo, and there's people out there that will go buy like hand carved chunks of salt for like 250 bucks, and I'm like, bro, you're getting you getting scammed. Need you don't need it hand carved, just lick it. <laughs> <laughs> lick it into the shape you want. Exactly. Goodness gracious me. Yeah. Kind of talking about like decorative. Yeah, I respect 
Sorry, what were you gonna say? No, what were you gonna say? Because I thought I dropped out for a minute. Oh, okay. Um, I... On talking about, like, de buying, like, decorative things, I kind of wish I could buy decorative things in the sense of that, you know, like, some people talk about how, like, oh, it's, like, their birthday and they go out and, like, get, like, streamers and stuff like that to, like, decorate the place yeah. or, or even, like, something like Halloween or, like, whatever, like, buying a costume to wear that year. In my brain, whenever I think about stuff like that, it, it just seems like such a colossal waste of money that I just, I can't, like, bring myself yeah. to actually, sp like, ever spend money on stuff like that. And it's just... It's kind of yeah. disappointing because you want to be a part of like, you know, this the spirit around it and whatever. But instead, it's just like no, no. Yeah, I'm the same. Like, yes, it's only like twenty bucks from Kmart to like fully deck out your house or whatever for the season that you're in. But also, that twenty bucks could be like two meals that I now can't eat. Yeah, <laughs> I want to eat my money, please. That's basically all I do. Like, that's what I spend my money on, is food and drink. Oh shit. This guy's really tough. You know what? I should just run away. Just run away, Geralt. Ugh. Yeah, I mean, and so, you know, on one, and on one hand, like, I'm glad I'm, you know, the, the way that I am, because that means I save money, you know? I don't, I'm not wasting things on useless things. You know, yeah. like, it's it's really convenient, I guess, like, for Adara and I to basically be like, you know, we don't spend money on clothing or a lot of the time, or we don't spend money on, like, all of these, like, pretty things or whatever, because it's just not yeah. our priority. It's, um, like, necessities only. Yeah. And video games. Necessities and video <laughs> games, that's it. Those count as necessities when they're your only hobby. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I, didn't mean, I didn't mean to roast you. I I now. mean I have other hobbies. I read and draw. Okay. Okay, true, true, true. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it just sounds like I'm roasting you. Yeah. I really didn't mean. To I you. only play video games. How else do I spend time in my life? But see, I can't tell if you're kidding or not. No, I- I do do other things. I just, um... You make dinner. Yeah, I make dinner. That's- that's a hobby. Not a survival <laughs> instinct. Um... Why- why- why eat when I don't have to eat? Question mark? Yeah. Um... Hey, don't forget to save before you die. Oh yeah, that's right. Thanks. No worries. I'm here for you and also here for chat. Yeah. I know chat appreciates you. You probably missed the comment earlier, but after you like left the, the first time, Cheshire was like, it was nice to have Ruby, and I'm like, it is! She's just that cool. I'm I'm just cool. You are. Like that's it. Mm. You're a vibe and you're a good vibe. Ain't nothing wrong with me. Yeah. I like to think that I'm a good vibe. I just like the company, you know? Like, it's just good. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, from my point of view, like, this is a waste of an afternoon anyway, because I'm driving, like, an hour and back just to pick up some Christmas presents. I might as well fill my time, like, hanging out with Hannah. Yeah, because otherwise I'm just going to be sitting here commenting on The Witcher. And that's, I mean, it's pretty yeah. cool. I'm, I've been enjoying it. But I'm just... I'm just improving your experience. Yes, you are. <laughs> Even if you have to deal with me sorry. dropping out every so often. Just Effie. Hiya, y'all. I'm sleepy and gonna and gonna back to sleeping, but wanna remind wanna, wanna remind that you're all awesome and important and matter a lot. And before you say anything, Wings, oh. no you. <laughs> no you, Effie, okay? Oh. I'm the last one to say it, so. Effie always comes Aww. in here to spread some good vibes. I love they're that. A heckin', they're a heckin' sweetie, love and we love them. I was wondering why they were awake. As soon as I saw the message, I was like, go to bed. <laughs> no, you! No, you! <laughs> go to bed! I love that. God bless. Hell yeah. 
Any block I think I'm gonna drop out again steady. shortly, but just bear with me. Okay. Well, I need to wrap up soon because um, I need to go. Well, I'm gonna go see Adara and pick her up from work. Yeah. It's like nearly four o'clock. Hey. Okay. Yeah. Well, you can leave, and I'll just keep talking. <laughs> okay, you're gonna talk for a whole hour. Yeah. I'll interact with chat, but chat can't interact with me because I don't look at my phone while I'm driving. Well, that's good. You shouldn't. Um, otherwise, we'd be have to have the, the FJ conversation with you, and we, I shouldn't have to do that with you. No, you don't. FJ's on a whole nother level. Like, whole nother level. <sighs> yeah. The person talking is an adorable bundle of joy, and I'm very proud of them for making it through this week. And before they say anything, know them. Anyway, gotta go to sleep. <laughs> See ya, Effie. Thank you for dropping by. Oh, good night. <laughs> She's like, oh, I'm getting complimented. And I'm not even, I'm just talking about shit. Thank you for I'm the host, Effie. I'm doing nothing. I love that. Thanks, Effie. You're great. Good. You're driving safely, that's what matters. Yeah, well, I mean, safely is like a stretch word when it comes to me, but I like to think that I'm doing okay. I think you're doing okay. Mm, yeah, but you have to think that. What? Why? <laughs> when is there a time that you've been like, Ruby has disappointed me? I'm sure plenty of times, it's just that I don't remember any of those times anymore, so I just don't think about them. I love that. Yeah. I love that. It's the way to do it. It's, it's taken me an hour and a half to realize that one of my side mirrors is not pointing anywhere that it should be. Good job. That's okay. It's pointing towards the side of the road so I can watch the trees. Oh, lovely. That's relevant. <laughs> it's helpful. Um, yeah, uh, for sightseeing while driving? Question mark? Well, yeah, or like if a tr tree behind me falls down, I'll know, probably. Oh, yeah, yeah. You'll know and then keep driving anyway. <laughs> Yeah, because it's behind me and not in front of me. Yeah. Yeah. There's no water in this. Sometimes, sometimes I think about how heavy trees are. You just think about them crushing you? No, I'm just like, I don't, like, I can lift a lot of things. I, I like to think I'm a very strong person. I can't you lift are. a tree. And that bothers yeah. me. <laughs> I want to be strong enough to lift trees. <laughs> I changed my mind. Sleep sucks. I'll be here. Cheers. Sleep, Effie. I'm going to be leaving soon anyway. Bye. Bye, Effie. <laughs> Enjoy your sleeping. Yeah, go get them sleepers. I just realized the sun's finally starting to stream into the, into the room, which means my clothing will start drying. Yes, I remember to do my clothing today. You're streaming with no clothes on or with wet clothes on? No. 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 <laughs> I forgot to do washing yesterday, so I'm doing it today. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, okay. I thought that you just had, like, wet clothes and you were just wearing wet clothes and you were like, oh, now my clothes can dry. I mean, I mean, so I did the washing and it's hanging. It's hanging inside. So. Ah. Yeah. Mm, to save That's money. Valid. Yeah, it is cheaper, but also I got very confused. My apologies. So, by person talking, we all love and appreciate you and Winx. Illy Effie, ignore the sweet Thank in my you. hand. It still counts. <laughs> Truly appreciate it. Mm. Don't forget to save. Mm. I've closed the game, so you're safe. Uh. <laughs> You can save it life instead. Um, I can't see the menu option. Where is it? Hit F. 
<laughs> Hit Alt F4. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want you to die. <laughs> I did think of it that way. I was like, yeah, just close all the programs. <laughs> oh no. Great. I just saw the most offensive thing. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no. When when Are you gonna share it? <laughs> Yeah, I am. It's when someone's comatose, that's when their um their program is not responding in task manager. Error 404, not responding. <laughs> that is absolutely horrible. It could be worse. Oh well, yeah, no, like... that's pretty tame. I wasn't gonna say if it was absolutely horrible. It's absolutely True. horrible, but for me, I that's think be, pretty tough. You wouldn't be, like, capable of coming up with something absolutely horrible, though. So, I think we're all good. I... thank you? <laughs> I hope so. No worries. You're very welcome. Thank you. When I realise my bed's not properly made behind me. It's fine. It's fine. Guys, I'm, I'm gonna go buy Adara a Bulbasaur. I have a sleeping Pikachu. She wants a Bulbasaur. I'm gonna go get it for her. I love that. Bulbasaur is like my, my, my like eighth favorite Pokemon. What's your first? My favorite Pokemon is Rhydon. Why Rhydon? I like Rhinoceroses. I think they're funky and cool. Can I just say, I'm so glad that you responded genuinely, because I'm pretty sure the other day, Mysterious said a similar joke, and then he was like, right on this stick, and I'm like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't a good joke, and it really made me be like, maybe I should change my favorite Pokemon, but that's okay. <laughs> but like, I don't even like Pokemon. Like, I'm not into it. I'm just like, I need to have a favorite because that's what nerds ask me. And I'm like, I need to be able to relate to the nerds in my life. Thank you. I appreciate you. I'm surprised it's not like giraffes and you're like, Gafarig or something. See, I, I don't really relate to being tall much, even though I know that I'm tall, like I'm a very tall person. I don't relate to being a tall person it's not centric to my identity that is very weird because to me it's very centric to your personality but go on <laughs> i am however very obsessed with how strong i am and how buff so like if i had to pick it would be more like muscle centric or like like you know just strong yeah no that's fair uh, Effie, I probably won't be raiding anyone. I'm probably gonna end the stream and then immediately, like, yeet out of existence, because I have to, like, leave the house almost immediately upon leaving yeah. this chat. <laughs> I'm just resisting because, um, the power of Ruby's conversation is compelling. It's because I keep coming up with new topics to talk about. I know! Like, I have something to say. <laughs> You're so interesting! Why do you- why do you have to have such an interesting life, despite- I've talked to you plenty of times before, yet we still have more things that we can talk about. I know. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. It's society's for being too interesting. Like, I just- I just say words, and you're like, wow, Ruby, that's so great. And then I say more words, because I'm like, I like this, this is cool. <laughs> yeah that's how conversations work yeah Adara sometimes worries about it. she's like how do I conversate about things and I'm like I don't know you just vibe you just respond like, accordingly to the question it's like but then where does it go it's like I don't know ask a correlating question yeah or like you like branch off with other things like if I'm talking about cheesecake you'll be like yeah i like cheesecake i also like chocolate cake yeah and i also like like desserts in general and i'm like wow did you know that like like in the 1800s people used to think that like tomatoes were a dessert because they were sweeter back then and we've like bred them to be genetically more savory yeah and it sucks <laughs> and then we'd, we'd talk about like <laughs> Like, fashion in the 1800s, and how men knew their place. <laughs> what? 
Men used to wear high heels and everyone was okay with that and they should start it up again. I wish more people wore high heels. But also, like, I don't like the idea of high heels. I don't wear high heels, not because I'm tall, just because they're uncomfortable. Yeah, exactly. You only wear them like, to be tall long. The most, like, I, I do own heels. I just don't like wearing them. They don't suit me. The tallest, like, heel that I would be comfortable wearing would be, like, those little black boots that you have. Yeah. Like, that high of a heel. Okay. Frank positivity. All right, Ruby, pause the conversation. We could keep talking if you want, because I could talk to you while I while I walk to, uh, to Adara's place, if you want. That would work. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, yeah. Well, the point is, I need to start moving, so I need, I'm just going to wrap up stream. And then I'm going to, um, I'll, I'll, you'll have to give me five minutes to just toilet and do a few things. And then when I'm ready, I'll, I'll jump back into stream time to join you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What are you wrapping the stream with? Like Christmas paper or like newspaper? Yes. Christmas paper. It's in the other room. Um. Ah, uh, okay. I'll let you go get that then. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> I'll be back. Bye. Okay, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have an excellent day today and tomorrow. Sorry, I wasn't obviously, yeah, sorry I was lurking. I'm, I'm sorry, wolves and others. I was having a good conversation with Ruby. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Hi, Philip. Good morning. The fuck, man? What are you doing up so early? That was so loud. Um, I'm about to, I'm about, I'm ending, I'm wrapping, I'm, I'm wrapping up stream, dude. Okay. Philip, I appreciate you. I'll see you later, okay? I'm doing another Ocarina of Time rando tonight, okay? I'll see you there. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you'll have an excellent day today and tomorrow. And I will see y'all tonight for more Ocarina of Time rando because last night I didn't get enough kicks out of it, so I need more. <laughs> That's literally it. That's it. The end. <laughs> Good night, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Lame. You're awesome. Ha, got him. You guys are all awesome. Take care.